Hey guys, welcome back to We Watched a Movie. I am Mike. I'm employee of the week, Jay. This is We Watched a Movie. Yeah, <laughs> Jay. Tits, loving it. You look like you're half FBI agent, half offensive coach, half blockbuster employee. I am. I'm all three of those things. I'm multi-class. All sex. Multi-class, bitch. I can do all sorts of things. I can run the annexation of Puerto Rico from Little Giants. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. do a sting operation, and I can recommend the best movie for this fall 2023. We're holding strong on 69 viewers right now. And I know that's not a legit number because there's like definitely it. thousands in here. I think so. But I think that's a that's a glitch. It somehow went down to 58. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're a Hollywood video fan, I understand. Uh, maybe Some that's people just don't like to, you know, rep like they, they don't like it. It's like throwing up gang colors. Yeah. What's your all's problem with video rental stores at the 90s? And dude, it's so Oyster funny. Bars. Did you know? I never remember those being like, a, you know, like nowadays is like the geeky, like loser mentality of like, the console wars like ps5 is better than xbox 36 xbox you get you got no titties you got no woman in your life if you have, if you own an xbox it's like yeah. yeah well if the only woman in my life is your mom then i'm pretty happy owning my xbox like it's this back and forth stupid stuff but i don't it remember them having those kind of wars with uh which i guess it wouldn't have made sense because there was no really internet blockbuster versus hollywood video did, was there? Do you think? No, I don't. Well, like, I mean, maybe maybe there was, but we were too. I guess maybe we were just logical people. We're like, I like them both. Yeah, well, I think Hollywood did have better deals, but I think I think they had better deals in older movies, right? And then like, because it was, I think it was like you got the movie for five days with Hollywood, but then with new releases, I don't know. They both no, got old really movies, expensive. older yeah, older movies. You got five days, and then new releases at Hollywood Video, you got two days, but at Blockbuster it was one day. <laughs> yeah, and Plus, our local uh, video. Yeah, but also Blockbuster was more expensive. I feel like it was. Yeah. And then uh our local video selection, they had like it was cheap as hell. It was like 99 cents for three days, but they didn't have nothing. They had a bunch no. of older movies, but they didn't have any newer movies. No, dude, our local one had porn. That's yeah. what set them apart, dude. They had some good raunchy shit. Like they had the softcore stuff that you find in Hollywood. Then they had the actual like holy temple mountain of pornography in back. Yeah. But you had to be 18. They did track that shit. Like they weren't like yeah, go on in there. You're 16. You're good. I mean, they really did track that. But man, when the 18th birthday came, I was only, I was fucking holy shit, dude. This is great. When I walked in there, I was like, this is fucking over. It's overrated. Yeah, I walked in there. I walked in there when I was first able to, and I just walked in the little room. And it's a tiny room. It's like a long closet. It's like a rich lady's closet. You know, that's yeah. all it really was. But you walked in there, and you're like, fucking, I'm here. And then you look around, and it's nothing. Just like giant bushes, and like you know, yeah. like just huge From bushes the in your face. And the oversized boxes, and you're like, man, I forgot that like every dude who walks in here come on his fingertips is like pick these all yeah, up. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't want, you don't, you don't touch the boxes. You just pick from a distance. But I, mm -hmm. I do think it was funny when I worked there, and then I went in there, and even when I did, it was always weird. You walked in, it was like walking into the temple of Salahadin. It was like quiet, <laughs> and like there was a level of respect and, and worship. No one looked at one another. They were focused mm. on their holiness, which was like picking the right porn for their wiener. And then, and then, and then you, like, just complete quiet, not even a whisper. It was it was literally like being in, like, a, a, like I would imagine being in, in a monk temple, just quiet, like a soft hum of possible uh, <laughs> orgasm later in the evening. I do remember yeah. the, one, the most awkward thing is when uh, someone brought their uh, – I do remember this guy bringing his wife or his girlfriend in there. And they were, like, kind of, like, giggling because I guess they were going to have some, like, sex tonight with uh, the porn. Yeah. And they were like kind of talking. It's like, I don't know. I was like, shut the fuck up. Show respect to those that don't have. Because <laughs> I was like, everybody else that was in there was single. And I was like, show respect to those that don't have. Keep your real movies to yourself. I hated like that. that alkaline they, trail song. Love, they were love. like picking it up and they were like, okay, we're gonna go. And they were, I was like, bitch, you act like you're going into a gift shop at Disney World. Like, go. Yeah. Get your like, dirty I'm ass getting, shit and go. I'm getting real vagina tonight, boys. Stare. Yeah, it's like, it's like it was, your friend who's in high school yeah. when you're in middle school. He's like, yeah. Going out with the lady tonight. No yeah. big deal. That guy walked in like the ascendant. Like he was one of us and then he had ascended godhood <laughs> and come back. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, 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 I the, the thing about that though is like the tapes, dude. The tapes is what you didn't want to touch because like I, we say the cases, but like think about the, like if you work there, you, dude, if you worked at a video porn store or a porn or a store that had porn in it, you had to take those tapes out and like scan them or like put them, I guess you didn't actually. But like, if you uh, had to like go through them um, yeah. and like rewind them and shit like that, I yeah. guess when you touch them, like you know for a fact, it's a fucking, it's in the Geneva Convention and the Bible that 
those dudes got done whacking it, probably like wiped their hand off. Or I hear some people lick it off their own hand, which I just think is disgusting. Uh, um, hmm. Wipe their hand off with a with a probably like one of those dish soaps that doesn't have like antibacterial soap maybe at best but then immediately goes and grabs it so his wife doesn't find it puts it back in the bag so there's just so much cum residue even if it's not sticky you know there's cum germs does does, mm-hmm. does cum have germs i don't know yeah there's cum I, germs i think there's a million and, i don't know i think it no I, I well i think everything's got germs in it i don't think it's deadly unless you got like herpes when some of those dudes were probably doing butt stuff too they're probably fingering their butts while they watch yeah you know, definitely, you, you definitely not want to smell that tape no, but do, yeah, but it was when well, they bring it in though, and you didn't like have the. I don't think I. I remember what they bring in. They drop porn off, and you don't. I don't remember even the manager even saying rewind that shit. I think he just said put it in the back or put it back in returns because I don't think okay. maybe they were thinking like that. Yeah, because we didn't good. use the rewind. You. We had we had those little uh single. Remember you could buy them those at Walmart and stuff. You could have those little single things that you put your 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 tape in there and it would rewind it. You could have three of yeah. them and have like three different movies being rewound at once. Yeah, which didn't yeah. make any sense because you had a VCR. It, yeah, I'll just press know, rewind. Thank you. Yeah, I know, but I got one just because it was cheap when I was younger. <laughs> but they, we had all those lined up in the back, and we would just shove that shit in there and like rewind it. So, but uh, the porn stuff, I just remember going returns, and like never... they, because no, because when the guys came in that were dropping porn off, they always brought it. They usually brought back um like it in the black bag that they went out with it, and then they would put it yeah. in the bin, and then they would leave. But they would run away quickly so no one made eye contact with them. Dude, there was one guy that came in there, and he was Episcopalian uh, priest. Oh. Like he was an Episcopalian. I knew it too because he had like a he had like a the the traditional like Catholic robes and shit. And I, I was like, why in the fuck wouldn't you take your little thing off, like your your collar? But he walked back there, and I was like, what? The? I thought he was going back there to save sinners. Turns out he was the sinner. Oh. And like, and I, and I was asking, <laughs> uh, I asked Rodney, who was my manager, I was like, is that for real? Is like, he's like, yeah, he comes in here like every once or like every two months. I'm like, oh my god, everybody's got to do it. You know, I guess it's not. It's I mean, well, it's he illegal. Said it, he said he At picked the, the times of, of day, though. He said he picked the times of day when he knew that most people weren't like there. And I was like, "Does he have a church here in town?" He's like, "No, no, no. his church is in uh, Mount Sterling." So I was oh, like, "Oh, so he, he drove like up. fifteen to twenty minutes to get his porn." Yeah, life was hard before the internet, kids. I never ever rented an actual porn. Like I never rented a single porn tape in my whole life. But I'm glad I didn't. Now that I think about it, because if you think about it, dude, so you were the one. You open up that case, and that's where you get the dude's cum residue. And then you take that same hand, and you probably whack off with it. So you're mm-hmm. kind of gay. If you yeah. ever watch tape on on, if you ever watch VHS porn, you're you've sort of had sex with like eight dudes. That's all right. It's like a chain letter. I, I don't think I don't think you're gay. I just think you had a community of uh, kindred spirits. It's like a circle jerk. You didn't really look at each other and jerk each other off. You just sat around in a circle and jerked it. No, you're gay. <laughs> this is not it's 90s uh a 90s think 90s think tank. It's your, it makes you gay. It's uh, gay dude. You did it. But yeah, it was it was an interesting I just thought the Episcopalian it literally felt like out of a Stephen King book. Like That's he true. would be like the weirdo, like he was like the pharmacist that worked that was hitting on the little girl and it yeah like it was I like would, that i mean i i wasn't trying to kink shame him i mean it's fine but i just thought it was fucking weird it's like dude he had the goddamn purple like uh scarf thing still adorning his black that's like, not smart gown and then he had the fucking uh priest collar and I was maybe like, that's what got him off though dude maybe he no, got off weird on i was like did you just get so horny that you said oh god i'll get back to you and just ran out of the church really <laughs> quick like you were in the middle of your uh morning prayers or afternoon prayers like oh uh, family for that, uh, oh god my dick and then you was like god forgive me i'll be right back and then you run down to just get your porn selection you get your yeah. devilry i, I like I don't know, dude. Like, I mean, I would have been, if it had been a cop or EMDS or somebody else, I wouldn't, I mean, it's whatever. But like the fact that it was a priest. That's a lot. I, mean, I think yeah. this was before that all that shit started happening. And by the way, Episcopalian, I know the people are going to, Episcopalian's not the same as Catholics. Like, you know, I get that. Like they're, they're well, not, they wear the same kind of stuff, but they're not the same. They don't practice the same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like the Lions are a, a technically a football team, but they're never going to be actually. Good. Yeah, it's kind of like the Jets um, are technically a football team. Yeah, they don't have their own yeah. stadium. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, you have several Cleveland Browns, but I, I'll tell you what. I, I bet that dude. I bet that was his kink. I bet he got off on that. Well, I bet he, he likes wearing that shit in there. He's like, I'm doing God's dirty duty right in front of him and everyone else. If I can do it in front of God, I'll do it in front of the pulpit. Well, technically, <laughs> you're doing it in front of God all the time. That's what I'm saying. So. That's I mean, exactly it really doesn't what matter. I'm saying. You can't even go into like you can't. There's no privacy. He just sees through walls like Superman and sees you whacking it. Think about that, kids. 
yeah, that's true. God's always watching. But you know, you but you sometimes think like, yeah, I've been a good enough follower. Can you like turn away for five minutes so I can do this? Yeah. I don't want to like ruin myself in front of you. Just give me a second. I'm a beast. You know that you made us like that. So just please don't like judge me for like wanting to touch my weenus. Isn't that something God it. says? He's like, I don't. Even I don't know. know. I, like you like, gave the you desires. There, like, Dude, you watch me jerk off. I'm pretty yeah. sure that we know each other. It's not like I All fucking right? got a say. And when I was getting made, like, hey, I don't want to be sexually attracted to anything, and I definitely don't want to have a sex drive. I didn't get to say that. You gave it to me. So is it? I, I want to touch it. It's a dangly I, thing, and it feels good when I pull it. It watch makes me it get butterflies good. in my stomach. Because <laughs> you wanted us to touch it. I don't know. It's a. That's anyway, why. That's a. The, that's a theological, philosophical questions for the ages. I mean, Socrates will be debating that one day, or, or he Every, probably already did. I don't know. Everything but makes all sense. I know is you've got to be dumb as hell to fucking wear your work clothes, like your actual, like where it's an identifiable work clothing into like a porn <laughs> selection shop. Like it's just weird. Yeah. And it wasn't a porn selection shop. It's not like he was going to Hustler and getting a dildo and a strap on. I mean, mm -hmm. it was still, but you were going into the porn room, and you weren't even being coy or like you weren't even being like sneaky about it. He walked straight back to. The fucking to the uh to the porn room like he was running up and down the aisle like Steve Martin and Leap of Faith like praising the Lord running up and down the aisle like I feel the heat coming like he was quick on his feet straight in I mean yeah he was, it's he like was in there yeah yeah he was like it'd be funny if he just walked in and was like know your enemy son know your enemy this you is know, research I remember back in the day though that section of video selection which is again our local shop that had the porn shop or the porn uh porn selection in there. Right next to it, it might have been movie warehouse though. They had the one of the coolest do I remember it was so fucking cool. They had a, they had all their horror movies in one little room on VH on the VHS and over the door it was like a black curtain, and then there was like red lights and, and things like that, LED lights inside this little room, and there was a skeleton hanging over the door, and there was like all their horror movies. And I was like, that is fucking cool. I think it was right next to the porn room so it was yeah. dangerous it was dangerous and dirty and horrific you're and almost you to, yeah, yeah you're yeah. almost but just I, getting I always like dude if i ever had like a, a room like they were like imagine recreating if you got a chance like i've seen people on youtube where they get to recreate they recreate like their own video store and they put like a special set imagine if you could put a special yeah. section for like your horror and vhs and make it like that and then put your porn right next to it i like that only a single man could do that though you can't have a no yeah he, the guy so he was married he just didn't have a horror room yeah or a porn room well, I didn't. Like, have, well, yeah, I think his porn room was his video room, which is fine. Some people, some people have like sex dungeons and shit. Like some parents have like sex dungeons and shit with like the swings and all. That. There's a place in Lexington, dude, that you can rent. I shit you guys not. Speaking of cum residue, which is tonight's theme, if you haven't noticed, get it tattooed on you. Um, there is a, a bed and beyond, or a bed and beyond, an air bed and be, bath and be. I'm having a stroke. There's an air bed and fuck a B &B. Airbnb that you can rent. And that you can, um, it, it's a Game of Thrones style sex dungeon. The mm -hmm. bed has cages like underneath it built in. And like, you can put your partner down there and be like, oh no, I got stuck under the bed. I guess you better fuck me out of it or like whatever. And they have like whips and shit like that. It's crazy. You can rent it. It was fun. That's crazy. I, I didn't go. I like me and Jay didn't go. Do you no, want to go? I, I was too busy. I think, I, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll see how yeah. the schedule plays out. But, we should uh, rent it just to film Halloween month fuck videos. No, and then we go to jail. Together. Take a black light in there. Oh God! Start dude, screaming like, like we're just like, fucking. Yeah, we, it'd be like a scene out of seven or eight millimeter. <laughs> dude, yeah. I would do. I would actually do it. I would go there to film with you, and then fuck, and then fucking the butt. I, I mean, the fucking parts is given, but I don't know about getting away with like actually like filming it and putting it out on the internet. I think we might get in trouble. <laughs> no, we'll just film posts. Like you guys will notice our hair get messier and our shirts get I don't know sweatier how... and sweatier as the videos go, but we won't actually fuck on camera. We'll By the way, I, clean shots. I, I know this is, I know we're, we're all talking about dicks and sucking and cum jizzles and all that stuff, but I forgot about it. this. Mention the b and I don't know. This is unrelated, but it's California is so fucking weird, dude. This lady moved into this Airbnb. I just saw this uh, trending and I just clicked on the article. She moved into this Airbnb. This guy was renting it out. She hasn't paid rent in like 500 fucking days. So, but because according to California law, she has the right to stay there now because so much time has elapsed. And the fucking guy that owns the building that's not got paid at all and can't, he is legally, he can't evict her. And now she's demanding $100,000 from him so she can relocate. And according to the law that's in California, he has to fucking do it. Like talk that's... about butt fucking somebody over the moon and then turning them around and saying, now it's again, I'm going to do it again. We're going to fuck There's got to be some Punani shit going on with that. No, like dude, it's, like, it's just this random lady. Law. No, dude, it's literally this just random lady. And she's blocked her Twitter. Okay, of course she is because she's getting fucking ate up. And then she's she's a freeloader, dude. She's a, they're squatters. 
but they have these squatter laws that protect her. If, if you go on Google, she's a squatter. And, and, yeah, I, well, probably is. Uh, hey. But and she drinks it too, nasty ho. But oh. if you if you fucking uh, go on Google, just type in uh, Airbnb squatter, you'll see this lady, and it's fucking crazy what uh, that law is allowing them. I cannot believe that you can own a piece of property and this slut comes in and says, "I ain't paying nothing." And That's stays wild. there for five. You know what I do? I throw a fucking Molotov cocktail on that bitch quietly and watch that bitch burn down and lock the doors. <laughs> you give her a good fella's treatment. She died. <laughs> she would, I would burn. I, I would die. literally I, commit a murder it, arson. Because yeah, if I can't get my rent money from you, maybe the devil will. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, be I careful when you Google that, by the way. Make sure you Google Airbnb squatter, not Airbnb squirter. You will have a very different experience. Yeah, most likely it's probably not. But you do it together for you. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it on your home computer or anything like that. Your family yeah, computer. With the, just with your the work computer. That's heavily yeah, watched. Your work one. Uh, your bosses. Speaking of watching squirting, <laughs> uh, paranormal squirting. That's gonna be. That's a good band name right there. Paranormal squirters. Um, we are going to tonight. Yeah, I just got so much ectoplasm. Oh, actual physical contact. Can you move? <laughs> <laughs> that's it that i swear that, that never happens on ghost hunters this dude he just stuck his fingers in my ass like you know there's gotta be some horny ghosts right so if the ghost is gonna make yeah. make if he's gonna make a big production out of touching he's gonna squeeze a booby every once in a while put a finger in your butt it would happen that's why i don't believe in ghosts. I, mean, if, I mean if you were like trapped in in between dimensional planes or whatever you have to haunt some place and some douchebag like zach bagans is coming around ain't the, you're gonna get bored yeah the, uh, you gotta stick something in the ass like a finger or yeah. wet William, or like twist doing. their nipple really hard, give them a, a, a nurple. Yeah, I don't tell me they can't get through the pants because, like, if they can cross realms, they can get through your fucking dungarees. You know what I mean? Like, they can get a finger yeah, in there. I think it goes. I stick my finger right in the ass, go <laughs> right, in their, right in their ear. Imagine you hurt. You yeah, you're right there. No, I would materialize just for a second, right? And, go, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then run away right before he dies. And yeah, Deadpool and then run away and like disappear into the wall. <laughs> I, I I give him the greatest like evidence of the paranormal ever by literally appearing on camera. But the downside for him was the fact that he would have to put it out for everyone to see that a ghost fingered his butthole. Yeah, too. he got and fingered, goes, and that would be what that. So it's a downside. He's like, how are you gonna explain that on 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 like a uh, you know Good Morning America or something? Like, oh, first evidence of a paranormal entity caught on camera with Zach Vegas. He's like, what happened? He's like, yeah. fingered my butthole. Like, I don't know, because, you <laughs> know, Zach Megan's is one of those alpha dudes. He don't want to be no gay. Maybe that's why the aliens touch our butts so much, you know? Maybe that's why they go with the alien problem, because they're like, he'll never admit it to his football. His eyes going to go back and tell Joe down at the Piggly Wiggly that uh, an alien fingered his butt. All right? He's good. Yeah. It's good. I He's think maybe the, maybe, the, maybe the aliens are just trying to figure out how we evolved to have, like, a dump factory right next to our pleasure zone so close together. Like it's like God your sewer. Not put a it's like round next to a sewer yeah, system. <laughs> it's like they open up a fucking sewer, like a sewer disposal like area, yeah. right next to a, like a strip club, and you're like, "What the yeah. fuck is this?" So you, you walk out, you smell shit. Everything's balanced, man. It's a, it's a fucking it's a yin yang. You only really got uh, like Thanos you, you, was right. You got like three little tiny bits of gooch between that. It's like a little road, yeah. like an alleyway. That's what the Jehovah's believe. What? I don't know. I just don't like that. <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I know that the Jehovah's believe that we're gonna we're all in hell right now. I think that's yeah, it's hell on earth. I mean, there's yeah. parts of that that do make sense because like there's evil and good, and like we have buttholes and dicks, um, yeah. titties well, and dicks. You know, there's there's awful and good. Yeah, you know, listen. World. I mean, any any world that produces and and has screen the TV show lasts for more than one season. That's I think true. you're telling some truth right there. You're not, might be hell you're not on telling earth. lies there. I can't wait for you to see the Exorcist believer thinking about talking about while we talk about see shit. It? I saw it. Was it good? No. Oh, I thought it was gonna be awesome. No, not you. Hear the sarcasm dripping from the voice. It's of not the box. good. It's not good. Of course, uh, yeah. We'll we'll talk about it in the spoiler stream. No spoilers for X. Just believe it tonight, you guys. Don't do it. I had Ooh, no desire God. to see that piece of shit movie. It looked like a piece of dog shit. Oh, it does. It does. But was it, it bad? You know, like, what was your rating though? Six. The first half. That's the first half's good. First oh. half, you're like, oh my god, I think you might scare me today. Green, but then the second half it's like oh we're on a carousel of fuck um mm -hmm. so it's not great anyways how the fuck are you guys jay rabbit spook stuff we're gonna see a picture of jay's ex-wife jesus christ jerry we just want to scare you not make you die where you sit <laughs> yeah it's like showing somebody a fucking opened up corpse on the side of the highway and saying hey look at this kids isn't this nice <laughs> 
people do keep stealing that meme by the way i saw it again this october i was like stop stealing our fucking meme not that we want anything to do with it anymore. No, cabbage. Cabbage. i still not as scary as jay's ex-wife i feel like this is going to be a theme tonight yeah you know what surprisingly uh cabbage her vagina smelled like cabbage <laughs> wilted cabbage that is <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tootin Texas Tootin says, I'm here, might be queer, drinking a beer. Just shot a deer, injured my rear. What day y'all gonna be here fest? Might bring the old Ford down there and drink some shine with you. We gonna do shot. <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, Rootin Tootin. I don't know if we can handle enough Rootin Tootin in our state of little Kentucky, man. I don't, that kind of scared me you coming up here, man. You still nah, on man. parole, man? Scare man, fest is within 200 yards of the school zone. Get on that shit. Holy shit. Listen, man, I'm on parole myself. I can't be going back to no slammer jammer. So uh, <laughs> if you you uh, you got to think about that real quick there, Rootin' Tootin'. If you on parole, man, just stay your ass in Texas until things get, get on control, all right? Yeah, you don't want to. Like I said, Scare Fest is within 200 miles of a, a 20, 22 miles of a school zone. So you won't be participating. Now, Rootin' okay. Tootin' never got down with no goddamn kiddies. Don't you make him no that pedophile. Doesn't always, man. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Damn. Any sex offenders get it. When you when you get caught butt-fucking dude behind an Arby's parking lot, you go on that list well, too, I that, believe. That is true, Rootin' Tootin'. You had too much Apple Jack's moonshine that night. Yeah, ain't his fault. Kate Narcher! Instead of going to therapy like I should be, I came here instead. So thanks, dorks. <laughs> you're hey. welcome, Caden. You actually look like a guy that would scream that out at, at two innocent dudes fishing while you're drinking your <laughs> beer looking like the cool dude in your picture. <laughs> fucking dorks! While you chug back your fucking... No, he would use... He'd use your white claw. <laughs> he'd use the F word, the other F word. He'd be like, hey, what are you guys doing on your boat? <laughs> you oh, yeah, I mean? yeah. You would, the Caden. fat boys. Shit. Hey, fat boys. <laughs> I hope you enjoy <laughs> You fat therapy. dorks. <laughs> just kidding buddy hey thanks for hanging out man we're doing the thanks, same Gabe. that's yeah therapy's too expensive come here yeah, dude, I can't, yeah just fuck that i'm sure it'll help jacob thanks buddy says first off i like saw 10 quite a bit the leg saw part had me reaching for the hair on my head that i don't have anymore <laughs> second what did you I, I do that sometimes too i get stressed and i touch it and i'm like oh now i'm even more stressed fuck yeah. uh Second, what do you think about dance with me i love it and i love you guys even more Ten care you take fucking care thanks jacob it's funny that you mentioned Dance With Me, Blink's new song, because it's literally happening in my head right now. That's why I'm in such a good fucking mood, because it's such a happy song. Talking about therapy, that song's fucking therapy. It just puts the juices of life deep inside of you, and you don't even have to get fucked. Uh, it's so good, dude, and the video's so good, and the song's so good, and it's fucking, I'm so happy right now. Jay, have you heard it yet? Yeah, I love that song. Shut up and dance with me. <laughs> That's a great song. Jay's just li like a G6, like, like a G6. A G6. Yeah, yeah, listen, the classics never go out of style. They just continuously song. repeat in my head. No, I haven't heard anything new, Blink. Uh, as far great. as Saltan, we, I think we gave Saltan a pretty good score. I, I mean, I think we uh, – I don't I, – yeah, it was a decent I – I gave it a higher score than Mike. I gave it a 7.5. He gave it a 7. So, yeah, it was a good scene. I just – the only thing about the – the death traps and maybe just me and Mike are desensitized to it. I just feel like some of them were just a little bit overhyped. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, and the leg part didn't really, I think the only part that really fucked me up like that, where, where I was grabbing for the short hair is trying to control myself, uh, uh, being like, Ugh, was uh, the, um, the brain uh, operation scene. It was yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, I think the gore was overhyped a little bit too, but I'm not allowed to say anything negative about it because it just makes me a hater. Uh people what, who said, on the internet. Are we in the, um, like oh my god, are we in or did we time travel back to when we had pogs and slammer? <laughs> you just hate a dog, you don't even know what pogs is about. Yeah, like, why do you hate everything? Uh yeah, no, I liked it though. I did like it. I thought it was a little overhyped. That's all. But I think oh, I did read one comment though in the saw in the saw thing where somebody was like, uh, you guys act like it's so easy. To replace Jigsaw. I was like, no, I never said that. No one said that. Where the fuck did you come from? No, this guy was like, oh, you guys, like, we, we said it was like, yo, we understand. Tobin Bell is a masterful actor and he's done such a great job with the role of Jigsaw that it would be very hard to replace him. All we're saying is that it was possible, but, and they're not in necessarily the same uh, situation that they let Nightmare on Elm Street get into, where Robert England was almost like, and, and Doug Bradley were almost like, inseparable from the franchise like moving past them would be like an affront to the fans so they yeah. still have some wiggle room with saw to move into a different direction uh and just give uh tobin bell have a good send-off to the next generation that's what we're yeah. saying I, I wasn't we weren't trying i don't even remember in the video that we were like it's so easy to make a saw movie god damn guys tobin you can't bell is like kind of a, with these people wish, jay yeah, yeah tobin bell is like a wish.com anthony hopkins are you serious 
No, literally, you're like, I like Saw 10, but I just don't think it was the greatest movie of all time. And everybody's like, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> liar, <laughs> whore, like liar, whore, liar, <laughs> whore. Burn him in the ass. Thanks, Jacob. We love you so much. Hey, by the way, I have, I think I want to, in honor of Jacob, I have something I want to run by you, Jay. You know what I was thinking today? Mm. I was thinking about maybe anal from here on out. Urethra. But anal, I definitely not urethra six. I have a sensitive tip. Yeah. Uh, but anal beads, I'm down to try anything. Mm -hmm. It's just not the whole rope. I just want to put one but bead then in you're at thinking a time like and then in your pop it state back mind. out. Used or not used? That is the question. <sighs> how much? How much extra is the not yeah, used? Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. Mm -hmm. question who used it first because i might pay extra for that but the question is this <laughs> these are richard gears anal beads how much will you pay um what do you think about switching our rating system up and not do doing zero to ten any longer and using the tier list rating to rank movies from now on it's provocative no one else does it our ratings for movies would officially be like sucks my butt steve or fuckable or almost touches the sun or all timer instead of the generic zero to ten I'm considering this and I'm asking Jay live because we don't hang out privately. It's only, this is all fake. We only speak here. I have to tell yeah, you our, guys. Our friendship's a sham. It's only been used to gain subscribers in your guys' pity and sympathy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say that's the dumbest idea you've ever said on camera live. Well, this is why. <laughs> no, I will say, no, I, I will say, uh, I, I, I don't mind switching up the rating system. The only problem is if you go from uh, all timer to yeah. sucks my butt steve like yeah. i don't think a movie's gonna be all timer that like it just feels like people will be like are you saying this is an all-time movie i think people would get confused really yeah. quick and then That's i feel like the, the rating system is so nuanced because what yeah. if you think a movie's like like it's above average so it's not a five but it's not exactly a six it's a 5.5 5. yeah yeah well, i thought you were gonna say going to zero to five which that's a zero to five I like is that. i don't either much but we used to do uh well, we used to do Netflix Nuggets a long time ago. Like that was a thing we used that to do. That was a fun show. But no, I mean, what well, we had the rating look Nuggets, which is kind of. Yeah. I, mean, I know it's corny sounding, but yeah, I, I feel like just saying all timer. I, it's not like we would we would know what we were saying. We're like, oh, it's an all timer. But then yeah. some well, dumb dildo would get on there and be like, look at these dumbasses. They're literally saying the Power Rangers remake is an all timer. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Fuck these assholes. Well, how I'd about rather this? listen to fucking Dave McRae. <laughs> we could that. actually we could throw up we could throw it up on screen every time so you see the so you see the list think about it don't answer right now don't don't answer right no, now. no i mean think that'd be fine it. if they had think a live like visual representation of what yeah. we're talking about but if we were just yeah. doing it like uh if we were doing it in person it wouldn't make yeah. any sense yeah yeah i don't know it's interesting it's uh we should think about it a little bit more hey i got a new dingle look at this guy no it's like a little condom wall it reminds me of your vibrator Nice hot yeah. thing. <laughs> it's it coaxels co as a vibrator. I can stick it in my ass and just turn it on. Yeah, and, and it also has like a battery breaks. for your yeah, for like a little mini battery for your vibrator too. So you don't even have to fucking unplug it. Per fucking sicely, man. Trucking inspired. I've commented my film film stance, my firm stance, firm oh. on Garth Brooks several times, and no one seems to care. He is a murderer and deserves a slasher film. Oh my it's god, dude. Are watch. you are you uh are you I get I guarantee you're like uh a big fan of what's that comedian's name that he gets into it with Garth all the time. Uh, the guy that does the Steven uh, Seagal. What the fuck's his name? He, uh, he basically Will started a rumor. Lasso? Lasso? No, no, no. Will. He started a, no, not Will Sasso. No, this guy, I love him too. He's a funny ass dude, but he started a rumor a long time ago, like just a joke that Garth Brooks was a killer or a murderer or something like that. And it kind of trended on Twitter and he got, uh, oh my God, Segura, Tom Segura. Uh, oh, yeah. And I think that and he had a back and forth going with uh, Garth Brooks and he would always say something about Garth Brooks and finally Garth blocked him. But he I heard all, something about that. Yeah, I think that but yeah, truck and inspire. Yeah, man. I like it. You Dude. also look like you also look like you uh you like did the, the, the photography for Top Gun in your profile pic. <laughs> Dude, I have like you it. heard of hey, do you do you know about Chris Gaines? Oh, who's that? This fucking shit is wild, dude. So uh, I'll show you. I'll show you myself. Is he, does right he now. spell Gaines with a Z? No, Garth, Garth Brooks. <laughs> that, he was a rapper. <laughs> Garth Brooks came out with a record and changed his fucking name, changed mm. his name to Chris Gaines, and came out with a record as an alter personality. And it was like not country, I guess. Garth it, was, did? it was like soft country. Garth Brooks did Ooh. this way back in the day. I Check this shit out. This is what he looked like. Hey, he's a handsome guy. <laughs> fucking. Look at that. He had that fucking like yeah, uh, soul patch. uh yeah, the uh uh what's the deal? Not Tefle uh what's that? 
Will you crawl to me? Oh, uh, that, man? Uh, default. To, yeah, that default fucking no, dude, that patch. dude looks like he looks like he looks like the younger. Uh, I don't want to tell anybody I'm gay yet. Uh, brother of uh, the lead singer of Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. What's that guy's name? The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, Anthony Kudis. K- Kudis. That's who he Anthony looks like. Kudis. I mean, he's a good looking the- guy, but you could you can definitely see the airbrushing going on in his face, like <laughs> like hardcore. <laughs> Dude, just the difference between him there and him there. That's the same fucking person. Do you know on the left though, you know who he looks looks like dude on the left, like his regular he looks like a fat Kevin Costner. I always thought he looked like a fat that. Kevin Costner. Like if Kevin yeah. Costner ever like if he ever does like a, a movie about his life, Kevin Costner should play him. I could totally see that, man. I, I, I no really go back to the, go back to that right there, that close up. Look at his face though, right there. Uh There's where, butt cheeks. Right there. Uh go to the right. That one. On the left, tell me that doesn't look like Kevin Costner in the face. No, I can, I can see it. I can see it. Looks like Kevin Costner. Why are his eyes two different colors? The context, man. That doesn't look like the same. You're right. You're absolutely right. That is fucking scary. I think he is a serial killer. I think you're correct. But he's a great musician. I will not. I don't like country, but I will not. not I haven't. Garth I don't Brooks. remember. What, I don't. What was his big famous? Oh, he did. Was I'm he the, this. I'm was, was he the one that did skydiving? I'm loving you. No, that's Tim McGraw. Oh, I get them confused. Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw's married to that hot piece of ash, Veronica Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. What was, um, uh, yeah, Faith Faith Brooks. Faith Hill. Faith Hill. Faith, Faith Brooks. Oh shit. Faith Brooks, is that a real person? No, no, but oh. is, <laughs> that's that's a, is that a real person? I guessed right. Syed Asad Termazi. I'm fucking sure I butchered that, and I apologize, my Siad friend. Syed Asad Termazi. Yeah, I think we both did. Bad. No, that's exactly Good how you evening. say it. I looked it no. up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did Google <laughs> Translate. Uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, Good evening, gentlemen. I wanted to ask you guys a music-related question. What are some of your favorite songs or albums of the year so far? One Any guy. recommendations? <laughs> Thanks, guys, and have a great yeah. week. Uh, thank you so much, man, for commenting and the Super Chat. I will tell you that I think the best album of the year right now is I think the <laughs> new Corn album is rocking and are doing all sorts of crazy things to those wild kids in Detroit. Stay tuned to the top 40 <laughs> as we break down the next album of Corn. Call it Heyday and the Che Day. Uh, I don't I, I listen. I don't listen to music, uh, modern music at all anymore. I don't know. I I have a playlist of YouTube songs of the old classics, Ace of Base, and some Savage Garden thrown in for the mix, and some Jock Jams Volume Two, Volume One, Volume Three. I don't, uh, Mike's your guy <laughs> to talk to you about specific music related as far as, yeah. So, I, I you, this is a blockbuster store, sir. God damn, we're not CD Central. <laughs> uh, it's, I laugh before you even answer that question because I know, yeah, you, Jay doesn't get down with the with the new stuff. I mean, and honestly, kids. yeah, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm really not, not like either, that. man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not, you know, people uh, are gonna take these kids. God damn, I'm just gonna uh, edit that part out. <laughs> Mike's a piece yeah. of shit. Jay said he wasn't down with it. <laughs> no, I actually, yeah, dude, I don't. Honestly, man, like most new music, I really don't enjoy. I really don't. So my answers are going to sound very, very generic and probably not surprising. I really like the new Rancid album that came out. You know that I'm loving all the new Blink stuff. I'm listening to that constantly and nonstop. Some 41 just put out their best song in years right after they broke up. That one was pretty good. Um, uh, there's a band that Hot Mulligan as a newer kind of band. Hot Mulligan's a great fucking band name. They sound kind of good. The Menzinger's new songs are really good. Two of the three are, at least. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, what else actually came out, like, over this time, because there's just not a lot of stuff in my, you know, playlist stuff, because I, I don't like a lot, to be honest with you. I go back to the old stuff. I'm listening to, like, older... I'm going back in like, older... Like, the Queers and shit like that, and, like, Screeching Weasel and, like, going through their discographies. The Queers? The Queers, it's about... I don't think they about- were on the Casey Case on Top Ten. <laughs> i like i did like highly suspects last album um and yeah i i don't yeah not a lot dude not a lot that's i, I gave a few there i did okay i did okay dude but I, I do i do i will say back when i used to just because i, I would have the radio on i miss casey Kasem's uh top 10 that's how you got introduced to like some new music like casey Kasem. This is hitting all the way number one from the. Dee Snyder had a good show like that too, where he'd be like, "All right, little kitties." Yeah, I, 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 I didn't feel. Like I wanted something relaxing as I was driving, not like, "Hey, guess what? You just sold your kids to the devil, and now I'm here to take it out of your ass." <laughs> Jay likes his music to be non-hostile. I'll throw on some Eminem, and he'll be like, "Dude, this just fucking makes me angrier." Dude, it did. Like, I did that with yeah, like I literally experimented with that. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I, I, I'm gonna say, dude, I listen to, I hear like, Delilah, like 96.9, like the love shit. Like, I didn't, yeah. the only part I didn't like about that show is she was like, hey, David, you just sent a letter in saying that you're having an issue with your wife and you feel the sparks are gone. No, okay. I, I get, it makes me grit my fucking teeth. I hate that shit. And then she'll play like something like truly madly deeply by Savage Garden. I was like, do you think this motherfucker needs to be reminded of past romance? It's dead. He's asking for advice, Delilah. You, you can cut Samson's fit. fucking hair in the Bible and made him lose all his strength. So it's no wonder you tell the man, fuck you. That's a deep cut. <laughs> I know. I can't. I, so, I, 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 but that shit grits, makes me grip my fucking teeth. I don't like that where they have those like, like, how desperate are you that you're sending, you're still sending in your questions to a fucking dear Delilah in the year 2023, like you don't have access to multiple different outlets to ask those questions that you need answered and get real help that a fucking DJ on the East coast talking like this, like she's in the fog in the movie, the fog is going to give you real life. <laughs> Awesome goddamn advice, and though. she's gonna make it. Oh, that's a, anyway. I, I can go on for that. I mean, that just, I, I feel like it's taking advantage of people. They might not be real people. Who the fuck knows? This is the, this is the guy who just told me I was angry for listening to Eminem. Fucking Delilah. Said Dude, I was, yeah, I'm attacking a different <laughs> establishment. Okay, you have your war, I have mine. <laughs> <laughs> what was the shire like, rock bitch dude, i got so i don't i never listen to the radio at all anymore because like ever you know because the fucking internet obviously but like uh well, i was in walmart the other day and they had the radio on and fucking blink the new blink song came on at walmart uh one more time or whatever and i was like oh my god they're playing blink in walmart this is fucking weird and then they cut the fucking song they played 30 seconds of the song because they were doing a countdown on like the top billboard or whatever, and they're like, and that was Blink One I'm like, you didn't even get to the fucking yeah, second. Yeah, the best part. Yeah, like, like, there's not a lot of radio stations that still do that shit where they only sample the fucking music, which is bullshit. Ooh. I don't know why radio stations do that for. Why do some radio stations only play like 30 seconds of the song and then they're like, That's and insane. jumping into number eight? Like, I feel yeah. like it's because they only have enough time or they don't have enough sponsors there's to no stay excuse. on the radio. I don't know. That That's butchering of art it's like you go to a movie they show you fucking like the half the movie like well you're done here's part of barbie uh you need to see it you need fine. To know. Yeah, apparently it sucked <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, like, yeah i got enough little... of it chris fold said we shall see that at witch dogs howl in the dark cookie that that do you like that <laughs> the, do the you like in. the fall glow within chris <laughs> i'm guessing this has to do chris sent one of the videos in and we are gonna get to that very soon you guys mm. we're gonna get to spooky time together it's october we're gonna watch some scary fucking shit together mm. uh hopefully scary neither of us have seen it we're going in balls deep well i, I hope mean, they're better than that one that we watched raw dog. that one that everybody was like talking like dude i swear to god about the head in the box thing it's fucking scary. yeah well, these are a mix of TikToks and shorts and things mm. like that. And some of them, like if they're too long, we obviously won't be able to watch them or whatever. Like we have to be careful. Some pe some of you guys did send your own personal work in on those. I did Ooh. not set them up to be in the show tonight. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to poo poo on mm. you. Um, yeah, we've talked about this before. Yeah, with payment. Uh, no, I yeah yeah I don't want to I don't want to watch someone and be like hey that wasn't scary and then make someone fucking hate their life. We we're here to feel good about. Well, that's know? the thing. Yeah, it's like we we respect the fuck out of any uh, like amateur filmmaker or fan filmmaker. Mm. And I mean, it takes a long time. I can only imagine you know the man hours it takes to produce something like that and the personal money that you got to put into something like that. And then to have you know two random douchebags on the internet critique it and like tear it apart. That's why I don't yeah. like doing it. It's not that I wouldn't do it. It's just like, I don't want to, and you know, I know people like, well, I just want you to be fair. Just be fair. Huh. But it's like, yeah, it's not really like that. It's like, it's, it's like Oliver Twist asking you for a quarter and then you just smacking in the face and get a fucking job, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know I I mean? You're not being fair. I mean, that's just, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying these people are like Oliver Twist because you got right. you to over explain everything nowadays because yeah. everyone's got panties and they're always on their period. Mm -hmm. So you got to be no, careful dude. with what you fucking say. What I mean to, to say is that we respect the fuck out of amateur filmmakers and we don't want to shit on them. How about that? That's yeah. Easy. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. And yeah. And we used to send like, when I was at a band, we used to send our, our demos and shit all over the place. And when, and like, no matter how much you think you want honest critiquing, when you get it, sometimes like, yeah, well, I heard that you like fucking Radiohead and they fucking <laughs> suck. Yeah, dude. And like, yeah, dude, I love Radiohead, dude. Yeah, you can't help it. Like you just like, it's, it cuts too deep. So yeah, we don't like to do that. Well, not but, to mention uh, the fact that we're like really nothing. We're not like we're not executives. Right. We're not like in the field of doing that. So it also right. makes us feel like uh, pretentious douchebags. 
pretending yeah. to pass judgments upon these people. Like I've never, yeah. we've never made a fan film. I don't know anything fucking about that shit. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like porn. Like I want to watch it. I don't want to make it. Uh, Jerry Ramey said being scared, Mr. Nightmare, Mr. Balin, one C entertainment and blue spooky. Just some of the best. I'm assuming you're talking about like horror shorts, maker peoples. Oh. Um, uh, good to know. Good to know. Love you, Jerry. You're the fucking best. You, I think he may have sent one too. Um, Sutter Gillette, the best a man can get. Gillette, the best a man can get. Gillette. By Blink-182. Hey, guys, due to the certain circumstances, some great, some not, I won't be able to come to Scarefest. God damn, God damn it. Damn it. Sutter, Sorry, you, guys. I, I'm getting the feeling you just don't want to meet us, my dude. Okay, mm -hmm. I just I get mm -hmm. the feeling you don't want to do. I understand you don't want to have a chug off with me. I understand, like it might make you feel less as I take. Jay's thinking he's you. Jay's gonna give you some kind of chug off. Yeah, I'll chug your dick oh. and I'll chug your balls at the same time. Chug your dick, really. dude. Yeah, and, I, and guess what? Because your name's Gillette, it better be smooth. No, <laughs> uh, no, I get it, man. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, hopefully we'll meet you one day, dude. Like uh, we really do want to meet you, man. Uh, you've been yeah. around for years. And uh, we'll, we'll still be at Scarefest. In yeah, if, you, if you decide whatever, you whatever little problem you're having, whatever, if you feel like yeah. whatever, and just say, fuck it, just come on up. Yeah, uh, it's cool. Sell your, but no, man, I hope everything turns out well for you, man. I hope, uh, I hope you get everything cool and in order. Yes. And if you guys are at Scarefest as well, just come see us. Everything's free. It's not like we're not charging for any bullshit. We're just coming there to say hello. And please, please come by so it doesn't look like, uh, we're there's nobody caring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I was like, oh, <clears throat> you should have charged this, but it's like you can make money off this. <laughs> you should. <laughs> uh, Michael Parton said Jay wasn't there a gay category and was was there wasn't there a gay category in the adult section? Uh, you, That's a good question. I think so. I think that they had them. Uh, it wasn't a large selection, uh, but I do remember like if you walked in into the porn room, I think it was like mostly hetero stuff along the walls, and then but they had labels. They had like um, you know like you know like a regular video store would have like horror and comedy. So they would have gay. Yeah, it would, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't, it wouldn't like, just gay. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't look like. Yeah, it would just say dick. You remember those? Uh, those uh, dick. Uh, D I C. Dick. Uh, no, it, it would have a. No, there was like yeah. I think it did. I think it had a wall, but it wasn't a huge wall. But they had gay, and that's where you'd find like the the, the you know um, what was it called? Uh, bear man hugs or or whatever. I don't know. And then you'd have like yeah whatever. And then like hairy beasts part two and like. Uh, come dumplings for i don't know but you have that and then you have like you get like you know hetero shit the hetero shit was everywhere but then you'd have like lesbians lesbian had two shelves and then there was always a weird one and it was called gonzo and it was just gonzo Ooh. and it was yeah. like it was like a whole fucking wall i don't even know what fucking gonzo was it was like it's just people like, smacking people in the face of the i face know face. It, it was just weird shit. it was like i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna use this vacuum cleaner to pull my shit out of my asshole while i suck your dick like it's a weird <laughs> shit. Like, like it's stuff that they probably didn't even know what to call it. It's yeah, just weird. Like, hey, I'm gonna, Bell I'm gonna suck a dick as I'm pogo sticking up and down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there was a gay category. Oh fuck, that's great. Mister Clump said, "Remember the scene in Freddy vs. Jason at Weston Hills Mint Award when the guy puts his ass cheeks on the glass to grab the exit key and escape." Yeah, I do remember that, Mr. Clubs. You also look like the security guard that happened to look over and see those ass cheeks <laughs> pressed against the glass and like the same. Now face. that man is not allowed within two hundred feet of a school. <laughs> that yard. man, that man was definitely a Freddy versus Jason because he looks like he hadn't slept for six years. Don't fucking do it. Don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember it. what you're talking about. Yeah, dude. Uh, actually, Freddy versus Jason was extremely funny. A uh, really funny movie. Don't touch his hands. Yeah, that, that's the kind of guy. Hands. That's the kind of guy that's got a lifetime membership to the porn room. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna take PP time real early so that we can jump into the videos faster because I'm sure some people do. Just well, god damn it, I'll I gotta go right too. Back. First off, Adrian Yabar, though, thank you, sir. Said thank you, was, since we saw 81 year old Tobin Bell, he's not 81, right? Is he shit, dude? Fuck. Hold he's on, you gonna read that? I'll be right back. I'm not ping, I'm just going over your motherfucker. You piece of shit. I'm gonna lick your. To play the leading role. Do we have even the slightest chance getting 75 year old Robert in to come book as Freddie? I get it. Eventually we got to move on, but shouldn't we get a few while he's still healthy? I understand how you feel, Adrian. I just know that uh, if I can garner one thing that I know and can tell about Robert England's personality is that that man loves attention and I am not judging him for it. Hmm. Um, 
I, 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 I was attention deprived as a small child. So that's why I do this YouTube channel and just try to suck all the dick I can in the streets of New Orleans because men like it when you do that. It gives you all the attention you really need. So I think that I can smell my own and Robert England needs fucking attention. And so if he being that attention whore as he is still won't do it, that'll tell you all you need to know. That makeup process is probably fucking gnarly. What? <clears throat> I don't know. I'd, I'd say it's gotten better over time. Uh, I think it's a lot faster than it used to be. I think the main, I I would agree with you, Adrian. I would give Freddie, I would give Robert England because I feel like he got a pretty good send off with Wes Craven's uh, new nightmare because Wes came back. He got to work with the original director again. So he was, he, you know, and I like new nightmare, but you know, if you're going to do it right, give him one more movie and then set it up in a way that it gets the torch passed to the next generation of Freddy Krueger. And he could do that. That's fine. I don't even mind that at all. Um, but the problem with um, Robert England is is that it, it's, just, it's the same thing with Doug Bradley, is that there's a massive amount of fans that don't want to let him go at all. Like, it, it's hard. Like, if you just really well, imagine releasing a Robert England comeback, one more movie, Nightmare on Elm Street, and the company, and they're like, okay, let's do it. And it's fucking, it's fantastical. It's amazing. It's successful. It's better than the original one. Maybe uh, never going to happen, but just say it is. Well, how, what's, how's that set the tone for any other future director or actor that wants to take up the mantle? Yeah. <clears throat> It'll be, it, it's Where kind of fucked. We so, well, you're kind of fucked if, you know, you're kind of fucked if the movie's awesome and you're fucked if the movie's bad because nobody wants to see that either. So I, I kind of, I'm kind of torn on it. I would like to say yes. And then I went away. I was like, yeah, go ahead and give him one. But I mean, the more I think about it, Maybe it's the wrong idea. I mean, Robert England himself said that Jackie O'Haley was treated so badly because right before that movie came out, by the way, the remake did suck. <clears throat> but uh, Robert England did say also what hurt that movie's success was they had just announced the re uh, the release of the, the ultra awesome DVD collection of Robert England, Nightmare on Elm Street. And he's like a lot of those kids that had never heard of Nightmare on Elm Street went out and bought the collection or their parents did and they got to watch Nightmare on Elm Street and so they got used to Robert England again as Nightmare as Freddy Krueger, and they saw this new one. So it kind of set it up to fail. There's a lot of things going on. anyway. I don't know. I, I feel like it's not really worth. It might just be a. We got to move on. I mean, also, I think if everybody knows it's going to be his last performance, the expectations mm -hmm. are going to be so high, and everybody's going to have their own thing in their mind of what it's yeah. what it needs to be so i feel like it would be like the most divisive movie ever because mm -hmm. every hardcore fans because like i need this and when it's not exactly what they wanted it's just going to blow up in everyone's face yeah. like i'm going to blow up in jay's face when he comes over next week to film i've been holding it in for a whole week we I call that the money this. shot in the bids yeah yeah i've been holding back all right i'll be right back we are at my good man wolf of elm street at 8.06 p.m., Jay Joseph Jingleheimer Smith. Don't tell everybody my name, man. I, I, I got off <laughs> Facebook for a reason. And, oh, and by the way, uh, Wolf of Elm Street, uh, I hear that uh, Katie told me that our booth is within cl pretty close di distance of both. Uh, we're in between Scarefest Radio and uh, the authentication people, the people who grade shit. JSA authentication is next to us. So mm. I'm going to sneak them some shit and be like, can you fucking grade this for me real quick? Grading what? Also, just, what are they grade? Like anything? Just collectibles? Shit, like the official I, JSA I, people. I got a fuck ton of comic books, but they take like two weeks to grade each one. It's like 20 bucks per comic. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be sitting there with their gloves on, like grading shit right there. I don't think it's going to. If you have a bunch shit. of shit, probably not. Yeah, but I, I do know that we are apparently relatively close to both David Arquette and... And Daniel Harris could go either way. I don't. I think we're gonna get fucking icicles spit at us. <laughs> we'll see what. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Anyway. Uh. Wolf of uh, Elm Street. Thank you, man. Uh. H forty five was dope. Wish you guys were there. Uh, got to meet Daniel Harris. Uh. And say hey to Chris Nelson real quick. That's awesome. Yeah. The good peoples. I've never met Dan Daniel Harris, so <clears throat> I don't know. But Chris is a one of a kind, awesome dude. I uh, love you guys, Jay. One day at a time, my brother. Uh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and that's how you got to. That's how you got to handle, uh, you know, bad things that happen in your life, man. Just one day at a time, right? So I appreciate that, dude. Really do appreciate that. Um, it's so fucking bright, dude. I can't help it because I, I can't see the chat without putting the screen in a minimized window, so it looks like the Grudge Girl is or the Ring Girl is coming through my screen. Like my face is lit up. But anyway, appreciate you, Wolf. Uh, Mister Clump says, man. 
that meatloaf egg sandwich at work busted me. That'll do it, man. That'll make you drop all sorts of children from your asshole called uh, turd babies. You had a lot of turd babies rolling out your fucking pant legs, Mr. Clumps. Hence the name. Sorry to hear about that, my man. Take some Pepto-Bisbal and get some sleep. Uh, Christian James, come germs. Clicked in here at the right time. You sure did. Come germs. That's, yeah, that's a real thing. I don't think it's a real thing. I don't know. Like, again, I don't think, I, I think cum is nasty if it's got herpes in it. Or, if, like, some other, like, chlamydia or something. I think, generally speaking, cum is fine. I mean, like, ammonia or some shit? I don't know. Like, it's not really, I mean, it's fine. But, yeah, you did. You clicked here. You know what? You clicked in here at the same time, probably people that work on monetizing videos clicked in here. And they heard cum germ. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Back to the fucking shithole. Wham. You go. Uh, Brandon Ferguson. Sup, man. Sup, guys. Off work till Monday. Because someone stepped on my foot at work and sprained it. Oh, shit, dude. I hope you feel better. I just thought you said, like, somebody disrespected you. <laughs> like, they stepped on your foot. And you're like, I got to have some days off. Okay? He came in here and he stepped on my fucking toe. You don't put no goddamn disrespect on my toe like that. I got to have some day off, boss. I'll kill him. But, yeah, man. Welcome, Brandon. Welcome. Max Devorah says, hey, dudes. Caught a live stream. Have you guys ever seen Spartacus on Stars, dude? Why do you why do you go after my heart like this, uh, Max? Yes, I'm. Oh my God, yeah, dude, fuck yeah. It ended in 2013. I'm watching the last season now, and it's so good, dude. Yes, Max. Uh, Spartacus. Uh, I believe it was. I can't remember if it was Stars or if it was uh, uh, Cinemax, but I, it was so fucking awesome, dude. They got the uh, the brother, and I, I and I don't know why I don't remember his name. Lucy Lawless was in it. And they got the brother from the mummy with uh, with um, uh, Brendan Fraser, Fraser, the 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 brother in the in the film series as like one of the main guys. But the dude that played Spartacus in the first season unfortunately passed away um, due to uh, cancer, and uh, he was a young guy too. But he was so overwhelmingly good, and then and then they recast him. In the second season or the third season, I can't remember. But the guy that took over did a pretty good job. Not a bad job at all. But dude, that that was such an uh, amazing, amazing show. Uh, the production design was great. It really it had like a mix of uh, the the show Rome uh, from I think it was HBO Rome, and then something like um, like a Zack Snyder type of three hundred feel to it. It it just worked, dude. I loved it all. I loved the relationships in it. I loved. The, the action sequences in it. I love the drama, the high drama. That, that It was such a great show. Yes, Max, I'm glad that you discovered that show. It's it's awesome. I hate that it ended so early. And if that guy, if the original guy that hadn't, uh, if he hadn't passed away, uh, I think we would have gotten some uh, more seasons out of that because I feel like it was so good. Uh, Benjamin, not Tremor, says, have you guys seen the RoboCop video game that's coming out? It looks pretty freaking fracking dope. Yes, dude, it does look pretty freaking fracking dope. And I'm going to tell you what. Dude, I've been following RoboCop Rogue City, I believe is the appropriate name that you should have put some respect on it, Benjamin. Uh, but yeah, dude, I uh, I just watched, they released a, you can go on YouTube right now, they just released a 23 minute, 22 minute demo of RoboCop. Looks pretty solid, don't look great, but looks solid. I just want to be fucking Robo and have a first person shooter um, POV as RoboCop and hear the boom, boom, boom. When you're walking to and fro, to your objectives and hear that dum bum bum boom when you're taking on nuke factories. Uh and it got pushed back unfortunately because it was going to come out in September, then it was going to come out in October and now it's sitting in December or no, November. But uh I think that's because they realized that they were going to be up against some heavy hitters especially in October with Spider-Man 2, so they weren't going to bank on, you know, obviously nothing's going to be Spider-Man 2 in the month of October. But yeah, dude, it looks fucking incredible, Benjamin. Uh, RoboCop Ro Rogue City looks like if it like I you can you can't digitally pre-order it, uh, but you can pre-order on Amazon right now. I'm definitely gonna get it day one. I knew you, I knew you'd be psyched about that game when I saw it. It looks fucking dope. Yeah, dude. Like I I, I, love, I love that the music plays while you're fucking shit up too, and it, it, like drop it. And plus, they got Peter Weller back <laughs> to do the voice, and he's done. He's doing like the voice of RoboCop, yeah. which makes it even better. But when you're shooting the crackheads. Like, thump, bum, 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 bum. If I were a real life cop and I were like raiding a crackhead den or just pulling over someone that I knew was a crackhead, I would turn that song on. I would be like, <laughs> get out of the car. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, it just hypes you up. Anyway, would be really uh, good police. I would not be a good cop. No, I'd be like the worst cop ever and probably get fired and prosecuted. Like, like, hey, man, you got to go up to their car. Be like, no, I'm not going. 
No, if we no, were partners, dude, we wouldn't do any of it. No, if we were if we were partners, we wouldn't do any of it. It's like, no, dude, I'm scared. Like, why? I was like, I don't know, dude. I got a bad feeling. I got fucking. I, I looked at a horoscope today. It's not looking good on Google. It's like, <laughs> I just well, don't feel like it tonight, dude. It's like, we'll just call backup. Like, let's get those dumbasses like across the street. They're like, they're like the ones that are like, oh yeah, we can't wait to fucking solve crime. And you'll be like, hey, uh, Martinez and and and, uh, and Terrence, you want to come over here and like help us on backup? And we then also they would let get, everybody go. Up, they get there, like, all right, what's the situation? I was like, we don't know, but we think that they've got drugs in the car and they're looking at us weird. So you guys walk up there to them, and we'll be right back here waiting to spring like jackrabbits. Created <laughs> diversion. Yeah, dude. Anyway, I gotta go Shut pee now. Dick. All right, the uh, sun, sa sun, sa sun, sa demwa, sa sun. Gary, hottest shun, hottest shun. Is AHS is the hottest shit in the AHS is the nun getting it in season two. There were some moments in that show. There really was some moments in that show. I remember the dude from Maroon 5 was like finger banging her chick in like the first episode of a show. There was some wild shit in there, Gary. Some wild shit. I haven't watched this season. I haven't watched the past couple of years because it just got too fucking derivative. Look, I used a big word, dad. Diverticulitis. Caleb Munoz with the fifth element. What's up, Lamos? First super chat. Long time stalker. Welcome, Caleb. I mean, masturbator. Hey, we're all masturbators here. And don't lie. You know you've all done it. Everyone in this room has touched themselves. Think about that. We've all done it. Isn't that nice? I mean, I mean, I mean, I touched myself. Just sent the scariest TikTok I ever done seen. Oh my God, I'm about to finish. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do too. I email why I'm doing it. I was like, oh, did I send this one over? Oh, they're going to lie. Oh, shit. I got to go clean my keyboard. Thanks, Caleb. Thanks, my good man. Eduardo Santiago. I will have Jay read that when he gets back. Yeah. Dan Murphy said, <laughs> you motherfucker. We'll save, we'll, we'll save that. We'll save that. Joe Valentine says, my daughter Lizzie turns two today. Boys, God help me, buddy. You are in the thick of it. You are in the thick of it right now. The, the worst part, it's wonderful having a two-year-old. Don't get me wrong. They're so cute and just awesome but fuck do they try to kill themselves like i mean i didn't sleep and it's not because like i couldn't sleep because like the kid was whiny or anything like that it was just like paranoia i was like that kid tries to die at every turn and that's what you got to watch out for uh they just try to die so hard and they cry at all the wrong times uh so yeah god help you Jesus be with you. Watch them kids, man. <laughs> Congratulations, though. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. The Violator. I just had a girl turn 14. 14. I have a 14-year-old. fucking boggles my mind. We had her and her friends stay the night over here. She had like four friends over. It was a shit show. Like, you think me and Jay partying is wild? You should see those four girls. They, they're they just the... It was it was a blast, but I'm, I'm so tired. Uh, saw the Exodus trail tonight and wow, I would rather jack off with sandpaper than sit through the last half of that movie again. Uh, yeah, dude, it sucks. I think the second half really did. And I, I just maintained the same thing, man. The first half was so good. And I was sitting there going, I'm going to eat my fucking crow. I'm going to have to go on the internet and say, I was wrong about that trailer. This movie's fucking awesome. And then the second half kicked in and I was happy to do that. I was like, shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of my 14 year old, she watched it with me and you know, when a 14 year old who, and I'm not disrespecting her movie acumen at all, but she's pretty easily pleased when it comes to movies. You know what I mean? Like she's, she, she finds joy in almost everything we watch. And I've almost never seen more indifference from her out of walking out of a movie and she's never even seen the original exorcist. So like walking out, she was even like, eh, it was all right. It was, it was okay. I just, it was boring and way too long and I don't. I really don't understand the point. And I was like, thank yeah, I know. And it was going, it was on such a good path to do something so fucking good. And the second half of the movie, in a weird way, it was kind of like, even though I liked the idea of that scene, it was kind of like the Halloween kill street kill scene where Michael Myers kills everybody. That scene should have been so much more than it was. Um, but they ran out of time shooting, and then you just got those weird shots of like people taking turns running at Michael Myers with a black screen behind them. And he would just stab them. And then the next person would run at them and they would stab them. The exorcist, there's no spoilers here, but the exorcist scene that takes place, it's in the trailer. It's just like, you do your exorcism thing. And someone's like, hot Ariana. And then someone's like the power of Christ will compel you. And then someone else, it's like that 70s show and they're smoking weed and they're like banging around from person to person. Uh, sorry, Jay. I hope that you have not been here long because I didn't see you there until just now. Okay. You're just still putting your things. We're good. 
Uh, I just got good. here. Uh, good. April, April's watching a, a haunted mansion. It's on uh, Disney Plus now. The new one. The new one. Yeah. I do. I so weird. Uh, I. I know the movie was coming out. I always thought Haunted Mansion was just a fucking ride that it didn't have a backstory. Like it, the only backstory it had was like, you remember the original Mortal Kombat <laughs> one? It had as much backstory as the bio of one of the characters, like Raiden. It would have like one line of dialogue, and that was it. And she's like, yeah. "Oh, the ride always had a backstory." It's like, yeah, but it was probably like one of those little mm-hmm. tiny backstories. But this, I don't know. I don't know. It looked kind of good. I didn't know Jamie Lee Curtis was fucking in it. Yeah, I thought the trailer actually looked okay. I'm not a big Haunted Mansion guy, but I thought the trailer looked okay. I still didn't go see it. I probably should have, but I did not. Yeah. Um, while I while you were gone, yes. While you were sleeping, Dan mm-hmm. Murphy said, "Jay, how much did Blumhouse pay Mike to give Exorcist a six out of ten? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think we're talking upwards of three grand dollars. Chili dogs." <laughs> I, you know what's crazy, dude, is they came out with a story that they found out that Rotten Tomatoes, not all, not all, there's good people on there. It's it's a it's a it's not just the site, it's a, a bunch of different reviewers, but they found out that certain Rotten Tomatoes reviewers were being paid like 50 bucks to review small indie movies and give them good scores because nobody else would be reviewing them. So if they got these people to give them a good one, they would have like a fresh thing or whatever. And no one gave a fuck. No one, it wasn't even a blip in the fucking radar. Everybody went, okay. It's because crazy. it's just the, it's the way business is done. Yeah, like I don't like think anybody. I don't. Think, well, it's not just. It's not the. It's not just movie critics though. They're doing it. They the same shit happens with video games now. Like that all shit. That most of that shit's gotten exposed over the years. Like you know, uh, big giant video game companies were paying or or at least influencing the uh, critic response to certain games that were coming out. That everyone that was a normal gamer that would buy, know it was shit. And they were like, yeah. why the fuck are these games getting like high Metacritic scores and all that shit? And, and there's two reasons. One, yes, the, the, the video game companies, which are, by the way, usually billion dollar companies, were paying them money to give a certain type of review, even though they don't have to say it in certain words. They could just say, well, you know, you do, like the narrative should be this. And then yeah. two, if they don't do it, one, they lose access to the money. Most likely that's that's the big one. But they also lose access that the next time a big game comes out, they won't get invited to play the beta. They won't get invited to play the early access. So these video game companies or these video game reviewers and movie reviewers will sometimes say, I'll suck a dick because I don't want to lose my early access review. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's fair. And it, it, it can also be unspoken too. Like people will... And, and here's the problem with Rotten Tomatoes mainly. And the... Like a fresh score does not mean that everybody thought it was good. A fresh score just means that all the reviews were above average. So, so to speak, my Exorcist review, I gave the movie a six out of ten, and half the video was a rant about how bad it was. Yeah. An ex this movie, as much as they spent on it, what it was supposed to mean, the fact that it's supposed to be the direct sequel to the first movie, a six out of ten for that movie, it might as well be an F minus. You know what I mean? That movie should not be a fucking six. A six is is failure for that. So movie. I guess you've already crossed out the invitation to South by Southwest. You're fucked. <laughs> yeah, like there. Yeah. Uh, well, well, well here's the thing. Team, I, so. I I'd rather listen to somebody that made fucking nothing on on any of like YouTube, whatever. Like some random guy, like that's a movie fan, telling me, hey, this movie sucked or this movie was good. Then listen to some fucking I, I, all the production value, all the crazy fucking gimmicks, all the cool shit in the in the, in the video. That's I know is lying to me about the movie. I like I don't like. Yeah, of course I understand. Some people need the money, and some people will sell their fucking soul and they'll suck some dick for some you know early you know some privilege uh, yeah. in the in in the uh, movie review or video game review industry. But I just feel like why? Who fucking yeah. cares, dude? Jesus Christ! You know what's gonna get you in the longer run? I swear to God, in the longer run, the respectability of your review is gonna launch you further in the stratosphere than the bullshit companies that are paying you to throw your review. Yeah. And not just speaking of that, but the, the broken thing about rotten tomatoes is, is uh, the movies can all get a six. Like technically mm-hmm. I gave the exorcist believer a fucking fresh rating. You know what I mean? Like it, but when people see that fucking tomato, yeah. they go, Oh, great movie. And it's just not the way it's it misleading. Is. Not, it's mis- it, the way that the, the way their rating system is misleading as fuck. Yeah. And it runs the industry and it's totally broken. Uh, he also thought the extra or the uh, Thanksgiving trailer looked decent. I haven't watched the second one yet. Cause thought mm. about doing a reaction. Didn't wasn't able to. So, so I haven't seen it. I'm excited for that movie though. Yeah. Um, it looks pretty decent. I, I don't mind that at all, but I will say at the end of the day though, I don't know. It's like, how much is your, uh, I know it's, it's corny, but how much is your honor worth? 
Like if you just yeah. want to be a, if you want to be a toad for a, like a billion dollar company that you're like a, like a throwaway thing next week, go ahead. I mean, fuck it. I mean, do yeah. you do, do you bro? But at the yeah. same time, that's the, like, I don't give it like, dude, I've seen movies that I would love to fucking like fake review and say it's great. And I wanted them to be good, but I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, nah, fuck that shit, dude. Like the movie sucked. It was either pandering this, or it was like just a complete fucking fuck you to fans. Or it was Ghostbusters 2016, in my opinion, was literally a big dick slap to the face of anybody that was a fan of Ghostbusters. Yeah. Even if you weren't a fan of Ghostbusters, it was a terribly written movie with awful landing jokes that nobody liked. Even Melissa McCarthy and the other uh, lady on, in, in the cast were like disappointed in the, in the joke writing ability. But yet they yeah. labeled you, if you hated it, a misogynist that you hate women. Like, yeah. there you go. That's the world you live in. So if you don't say exactly what we want you to say and suck Paul Feig's little dick, then you're fucking somehow a misogynist. So I, I'm like, all right, I'll just be a misogynist and say the movie fucking sucks. I hate Jada Pinkett Smith's haircut. Yeah, yeah, we love people in. <laughs> <Alopecia>. <laughs> yeah, we love we love people in. I saw some. I won't even get into it. You know, I won't even fucking. I'm not even gonna give it the time of day. Uh, someone said that the Exorcist is only getting reviews, uh, negative reviews, because it features a black man in it. And I was like, that guy what? was the best part of the fucking movie. Yeah, I, I was like, are I you don't know, that's insane. True. I mean, we're not back uh, in the, like we're not back in like 1958, and like yeah. people are fighting for the civil rights, <laughs> right? Like is it's not a, because I mean, yeah, there might so be broken. Some, Dude, there's racist assholes everywhere. You think the majority of people that are coming out and it, that, that are negatively or that are criticizing the movie and having genuine opinions of why they don't like it yeah. is because somehow the lead is black? You are Mental so illness. out of fucking touch, dude. Your 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 goddamn brain is a, in a, in. A, in uh, <laughs> I don't want to say anymore because it pisses me I'm, off. Yeah. That, and that yeah and it's like if you hate a movie because it has a black actor in it you are actively a piece of fucking human shit. i think you're I'm I, think sure. that, I don't I, feel that way about society i just i don't. think anybody that brings that shit up i think if you bring there race those, up into it or hom but, uh, homosexual uh, home if you know you throw the phobe word out and and you say yeah. you're a phobe of this or a phobe of that or you're yeah. you're a racist this you're usually the you're usually the racist because i wasn't yeah. seeing none of that and then all of a sudden you're the one that's making it about that so who's the real racist here who's the real phobe me or you because I didn't yeah. say anything about it, but yeah, you want to take my words as I said. I thought the movie was a sack of fucking wet shit left out in the in the rainstorm. But yeah, you don't say that because you only say that because the black man. You only say that. What? Like we're not living in the fucking yeah. God uh, damn, get yourself some sex and touch sorry. grass. Yeah, let me hide my fucking swastika tattoo. People like normal people aren't yeah. fucking. I like didn't know that. when Anyways. I looked in the mirror, I was Edward fucking Norton from American History X. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Murphy said, no ticker tonight, Mike. No, I, I got to bring that back next. I, next Ticker on the next show. There you go. I fucking promise. Also, uh, Caleb Munoz made his first super chat, so mm. I just want to put that in front of you, let you Caleb. see his face, let you feel his thunder while you were going. That's a hell of a fucking uh, pick there you got for your thumbnail. I love it. I love it. You know yeah. what that's from. That's Fifth Element. That's some sexy Fuck yeah. Music. It's good shit. Um, and finally, before we get into watching the videos, there was another one for you. Good old Joel Valentine. Oh, no, I fucking read that. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. His daughter's too, though. So oh, he's in trouble. Happy you birthday. know that. Um, uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Eduardo Santiago said, Jay, we need an impression of Dr. Loomis as L.A. Knight. Yeah. Please and thank you. Dr. Chalice needs to cameo. Do L.A. Knight. As L.A. Knight? I was hoping you knew what that was. I don't. Is that the guy that is like an actual suit? Like the one that? No, that's a, that's some, it's a, that's something Jones. Phoenix Jones. He was the actual guy that dressed up as a superhero and went out and fought crime for real. You remember that guy, Phoenix? No, I don't know. Was it Phoenix? I might be. There was a guy that literally dressed in like it looked like a replica of Batman Forever, like a bodysuit, and he had a fucking mask on or a mask on, and he would go out and he fight crime, like literally do it, like fucking like a real life, uh, in, in, in Unbreakable. Yeah, Not I know, I he'll say it was Phoenix. I don't fucking know, man. We might uh, next time, Eduardo. We'll have to Google it. Yeah, Eduardo we'll Condalgo. I don't know. I don't know the LA nine. I'm, I'm, I might just be. I don't know. We love you, though, dude. Uh, Alan Petley said, howdy, folks. Hope y'all hey. are well, brothers. Take care and whip your ass. Thank you, I'm man. I plan on doing it tonight. Uh, uh, that's what I do. Yep. That's what I do to myself. Give yourself a little extra love tonight. John you Horsa. Like, you look like Beverly Hills Ninja, like Chris Farley going, mm. Mm, and he's laughing and he's <laughs> tripping. <laughs> Good to see your face, John Horside. How is the rest of the band in Papa Roach? Hey, guys, you mm. know the band Wednesday 13. Very underrated band. I Someone thought you were in that band, John. <laughs> yeah, and that's your band. <laughs> Someone sent us a CD of them, and I did like it. It was enjoyable, man. It was good shit. Yeah. Um, thanks, buddy. Uh, Jordan Decker said, video suggestion, Halloween movie themes ranking. Movie uh, themes. Are they? Aren't well, they just too uh, alike, you know? The only one that I significantly remember being different. Well, the the uh, the Halloween 2018 uh, theme, There's a there, there was a 
not really. There was a little bit of a difference between the main theme and that one. But I remember specifically Halloween 6, Curse of Michael Myers, that dubstep shit. That was fucking awesome. That was like, yeah, that, I did like that. Doom, 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 boom, 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 boom. That was fucking badass. I would say real quick, it would go the original, obviously, number one. Number two, though, 2018, uh, The Shape Hunts Allison. That was fucking banger shit. I don't that know, man. I, I put the original Halloween, Halloween Curse of Michael Myers, then 2018, because that – that do that pumps you the fuck when that goes when that, when you see Michael coming out of the fucking yeah and it's like that guitar yeah. as you hear that boom 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 dum ding 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 oh yeah oh, fucking it just, yeah, kill it <laughs> <laughs> that's Jay literally at the gym when that song comes on <laughs> kill it uh, <laughs> awesome say thanks buddy say quick update I am officially one on hundred percent MRSA free hey congratulations hey, all right man good job fuck yeah man. Fuck yeah. Cheers to you, buddy. Um, all right. Before we get into it, and Mercurio, by the way, does recommend the short film Tell. I haven't heard of that one. Thanks for the mm. recommendation, brother. Thank you, man. Um, and Christopher Sampson, five to the moon like that bitch out Crampson. Thanks so much, dude. Chris. You're the best. Says, hey guys, I'm glad you dudes always speak the truth. Have you cool. seen the Godzilla minus one trailer? We no. reacted to it on a no, live stream. We didn't see that one. I don't think it was, was that, that one. about that one. No, because that was the one that somebody else asked us to the review, and you said you had like minus one trailer is a different one. I think that's a, we didn't react to that one. Oh, oh, you're right. No, we did not. We'll have to fucking watch that, dude. Thank, thank you. I, I thought I had no Thanks, idea Chris. what that fucking was. I just knew there was a show, Chris. You're the fucking shit, dude. We love you. Um, okay. Now, before we okay. get back into Super Chat, we go to the darkness. Let's watch some dark shit together. I don't know what any of these are. I haven't watched any of them, so the YouTube gods don't shit on my mouth oh. unless I pay for it. Okay. Um, let me go into these here. I'm going to open one randomly. Um so I said, I know, by the I, way, the bottles that you heard that I, that was that, that that clanked around when I threw it, like, and it sounded like fucking Ashton Kutcher's apartment in goddamn uh, Butterfly Effect. Those were actually Michelob Ultra bottles, not goddamn Bud Light. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, can you guys hear the audio on this? Oh, dude, I've seen this one. It is, uh, yeah, I know this one. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. I can't hear you. you can hear me. No, yeah, I know. What the, yeah, you, I know this. This is no. Like I just need to know if you can hear me. It's a test. Yeah, I know. Can, I know what happens in this one. Yeah. No, I understand. But can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. And you can hear the video too. Yes. Can you guys hear the video? Uh, did you guys hear that little uh, Braveheart thing? Mm -mm. Let Let me know if you guys can or cannot hear. Okay, Tomo hears it. I've seen this too, but since we started, it will finish. Because <laughs> if those who don't. Know ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of, dude. I tell you what, it kind of still gets you no, no matter what when you're watching it full screen. I don't know why. It, it still it got me, dude. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, oh my! Oh, no. <laughs> that was my ex-wife when she was on too many her second box of Fonzie <laughs> wine. <laughs> that was from our good buddy Kieran Rollins. So thanks, man. Uh, let's go to the next one. Justin Re Justin's reviews sent this. Uh, it will not let me play it, Justin. It's because it's like a downloadable version of it or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to look at it in my system. Sorry, <laughs> Justin TV. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. This one's from Miguel Aldana, and it's called Sleeping Pills. It's a four-minute short. Let's take this in together. I don't, I don't like the way that sounds. Because that means it's only four <laughs> minutes. I got to get right into your crack real quick and scare it. Nice plumbing. Water pressure is great. <laughs> That's us two hours into Scarefest. Yeah, dude, it really Trying is. Yeah. Shake off the drunk. It's got nice shoulder dimples. I told my bitch to pay that. <laughs> what? Oh my God! Get it the fuck out of here! What the fuck did you take, asshole? You were like, would she? Would he finish? And she hasn't swallowed oh yet. Oh my god! Fuck that shit, dude. Why is it always gonna be that kind of shit? He looks kind of like Matt Damon. Oh, he kind of does. He looks like Matt Damon in like Courage Under Fire when he like <laughs> fucking skinny and hair heroin went at it. Oh, dude, that bitch! Don't tell me that bitch is gonna be in those shades or something. Just watches me. Oh god! Then get a girlfriend. It's like it follows me between dreams. It just is always there. Oh, fuck, dude. I hate that shit. His therapist is uh, Arnold. He's like, stop whining. 
I, I haven't slept in months. You look it. Like fucking stupid just watches me. Yeah, we get it. You fucking like Doug Jesus Bradley. Christ. He looks like Doug Bradley's son. Oh God, thirty nights later, what the hell's going to happen? Oh, that's what your dick sees. Yeah, dude, he looks like an abusive security guard. <laughs> God, dude, she's gonna be in the fucking oven or something over your head. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck's up? Better go to Rite Aid. That's me searching for X Lax. It's like trying to look for one nail that you need to fix something in your house and you can't find it. Oh, God, don't tell me where the fuck you're gonna be. We're gonna be, bitch. We're gonna be, bitch. <laughs> oh god damn it don't don't slow oh, pan the camera oh, don't slow pan the fucking camera oh my she's god. leading him in Hansel and gretel shit may angels lead you in oh god damn it how much more time is left on this fucking video i'm not gonna tell you because you go ahead and tell me i won't do tell it. me <laughs> <laughs> oh god a hand's gonna come out or some shit i don't even fucking know i oh my god dude Two pills I, I pop, two of these pew pills swell up like two twenties. Uncle Khaled on the mountain, 20s. Jesus Christ is my friend. No valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> I got mushrooms, oh, dude, I, I like got this acid, I, like this. I I'm got I'm getting all fucking itchy like aspirin, I'm coming down on oxycodone. Like my shit, like I mean, stopped taking Lortab or something. I'm all itchy. I'm all itchy and shit. I'm all itchy! Why is it dark? <laughs> Why are you following, you stupid oh. fucking idiot, dude? God I just damn. went from six to midnight when I saw Go that dude's outside. feet. Oh, my God. His hairline looks like mine. Ah! Oh, my this fucking shit. Lord. Oh, my fucking God. No way, dude. Honey, do I Don't. look fat in this? Don't do it. Don't fucking do it, dude. Just walk away. Oh, God. Of course the fucking lights don't work. Of course they don't work. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I'm like, is she hot? No, she's not, dude. She did you see her fucking face earlier. She's got a nice frame. Why are you walking towards it, dude? You deserve air. I hope your fucking asshole gets ripped apart by demons in hell. She got the salad fingers. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Yeah! Oh shit, she's gonna be laying next to you! She's gonna be laying next to you! Oh my god, do not come through that doorway, dude. Don't, don't, bro. She's, oh my god. Uh, she's on his crotch, man. Oh, dude, I can't, I can't do, I cannot do this right now. I can't. Do Did you finish? Right yeah, I finished, and then I stole the dog. Yep, she's down there. Oh. Oh, no, no! What the fucking shit? Punch it! <laughs> that was a good one, dude. I'm not doing anymore. I literally <laughs> thought I could handle it because I was drinking a little bit. And it was cool. That shit. That's the kind of stuff that made me faint during the VHS stuff. It's just the the the, the weird. I think it's, the, it's something about ghost face and then not moving and went, I like you. Like that shit fucks me. I don't know what it is. It scares me. I don't know. I don't like that. Dude, I can't. I'm really, I don't know if I can do it anymore. That, fucking, that I don't even want to walk down from here now to go back to my goddamn room <laughs> when we're done filming. Because that bitch could be around the corner going, Ugh, uh. <laughs> I think you have a weird like hang up with head in your mind. Like there's something no, about dude. like scary girls giving head that really just messes. Not, she wasn't door. giving head. The bitch was just uh I can prove it. I'd be like, okay. Oh dude, I don't like that. And then she was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh that was by Jared Moore. By the way, if you guys want to check it out, Jared Moore, J-E-R-R-O-D Moore, and this short spider film bullshit. Called Sleeping oh my pills. God. That was one of the better ones, dude. That was one of the better ones I've seen. Well done. And uh, thank you, uh, Miguel, for sending Mike, that Mike over. White said, Michael White said she was about to. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Okay. That bitch looked like she had escaped from an asylum, got picked up at a speedway, got bailed out again. And now she's bitch was on her third fucking run of crap. I'm with life wells on that one. Well, I was kind of turned on. You all are nasty. I don't know. You all fucking like into goddamn black magic and shit. Fuck that. You know, she probably does some of that weird slippy dippy shit, you know? No, like, she can do, she do, do all she wants. Shit. Hey, I find some people like playing with Ouija boards. <laughs> I know oh, Captain Howdy. Um, okay, so let's do another one. Mm -mm. Let's do another one. Just get while you're fresh. Uh, by the way, I'm, I just do want to let you know. I don't want to be, I don't literally do. Like, it's like I'm getting that feeling again. Like, I like the, the hairs I'm, are standing up in the back. I, there's not going to be any more blowjob ones. There's not going to be any more. There might be worse ones. ones. No, I'm sure there's, I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure. I'm the leprechaun. 
<laughs> oh no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, I, Will Arnwan, by the way, I, I do want to let you know. Will Arnwan did send me the clip from VHS of the "I Like no, You" dude, thing. Will, I, I won't do it. I'm not watching it. No, I'm not watching it. I'm. I just want to let watching. you know that he sent it as a joke. God um, damn, Will, that's not a joke, dude. Like that's like giving somebody that already has a heart condition, like, hey, you know what you should do? You should play with this fucking electrical wire. It won't fuck up your pacemaker or anything. Jay, I don't know about this next one, dude. Oh, that's um, one. This one's from uh, Creasefold. Good old Creasefold. Sleeping in the sheets with the crease. Oh. And it's from a channel called Chabonk182. Hey, Blink fans. Uh, so it's got to be good. The video's nope. name is Kuyang Dayak. And it's just over a minute long. That sounds like a fucking Caribbean rap group. group. <laughs> Caribbean. Uh, it looks gnarly. All oh, right, no. All right. Stop. I don't even want. No, fuck that, dude. Look at the goddamn. What, look at the here picture. What the fuck is this Beatles, you shit? Dude, I'm not full screening this. I don't think it's real. Is that a dog with a head? Oh, okay. It's okay. It's one of the. I, I, this, this is not like a story. It's just some. Oh, it's moving. Oh, my God. This is actually funny, though. Is that Dave Mustaine? <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, like a dog thing hey, with a human, uh, a human head. Stop moving, dude. That shit. No, like, don't yeah. open your mouth. People are the stairs. Stop opening your mouth, dude. There's gonna be some jump scare. Um, goddamn, fuck you, Chris. If there's some goddamn like jump scare, this the feet, the feet, the eyes, the goddamn eyes just moved. No, ah, no, give the fucking fuck. You keep that mouth shut. Stop it. Lay down. Why did it get quiet? Why did it get is it quiet? quiet on your end? Why is it quiet? Yeah. How much time is left, you fucker? Tell me now. How much time is left? Oh, why it's are you panning? Deep, it's just why a are you deep panning? Thing. There's like oh. 20 seconds left. Oh my god, dude! Do not tell me you fucking wiggle your ass to the cage, go oh, 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 or some shit like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't look at me. Oh god! Stop what looking at me, Swan. What the fuck is that? Oh my god! What the fuck is that? My lights just flickered. Shut the fuck up! I don't talk about anything, dude. dude. What? Oh, okay. That hey, it's bad. Cody Leach, everybody. Oh, shit. marketing for this movie might as well just what cut the, the fuck. Trick. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, go back to Cody Leach's video. The marketing for what? <laughs> just, what if we just watched all of Cody's videos? Oh, uh, all right. There's another one from Grease Fold. That I don't know what the that, fuck that was. A, no, that looks like some shit that would be released in like 1999, like on the same channel that or TNT or something. It was like, oh, real footage of the alien autopsy was released. <laughs> uh okay um let's see here um this is called my house walkthrough here we go the sound of the wind wake me up in the middle of the yeah. night fucking why are we this look like little landmines no what are you doing cooking hot dogs on your floor i don't give it he needs to be cooking some jesus with the bible and he's got who stains his on his home. bed it's late there's bills you gotta fucking see. pay your bit how much how much how how long is this video dude? like how long is this video dude? what the fuck why is there a red oh is that his reflection is there like someone standing the video him? is 12 minutes long oh no, it's not. really yeah is it really this is the longest hallway of my house that's your house this is the hina doll room I don't know about you, man, but I think that you need to get a better career. If that's your house, if that's what you're living in. Oh my what god. What the, the fuck? This is the altar and ancestors. Oh my god. Okay. You cannot get katana sword by stealing. This you is all bad. It. This is a picture from World War II. Dude, how, how this long is my dick. How, how literally <laughs> how like literally long is this video? It says it's 12 minutes long. All right. When I open this Fuzama. Ooh, why'd you do it so loud? Holy this shit. Right room is the doll room. Oh my god. Can you guys read this? I don't you can read this. I don't need to keep doll reading. Room. The room was closed up by my grandfather. Was your grandfather pinhead? Look at the state of this. It was closed house. by the fucking government because yeah. it's not it's shaped to live in. The housing authority closed it down. It's condemned. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
No, don't pull the rope. All right. All right. You know what? I don't like this shit at all. For one thing, it's kind of annoying that it's 12 fucking minutes long. I feel like I'm walking through like a haunted house. Stop crying. Oh, God. Look what at is this bathroom. I bet there's like turds laying on the floor. Is that a bathroom? I don't know. It looks like one. Shitty grouting. I hear a sutra. Oh, do you that's hear... not scary. My grandfather is always listening to sutra from the ruggle. Karma Sutra? Your grandfather's dirty. That is a nice lamp. Uh, that looks like I love that. It looks like a goddamn wasp nest with a light in it. What is that? You hear that? I, uh, na, 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 yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, I do now. It kind of reminds me, like, he's, like, walking towards, like, ooh. He's, like, walking towards, like, probably the naked, like, witch's coven that's happening in his house for some reason in the middle of the night. Yeah, it's just going to be a paymon in there with his dick out. Mm -hmm. It's an old dude with his cock out. Is this the opening for American Horror Story next year? How are you going to have uh, that nice of a camera? By the way, I got to point out, I will say how... Oh, my God, dude. The dog was coming up. To oh, oh, shh. Shut up. I hate when people fucking do that, dude. Like, yeah, your microphone is close to the action, so when you barely do anything, I can hear it. It's like enhanced audio anyway. Uh... Oh, fuck, dude, Wait, did we already do this? Headache. Are we? Are we? Did we just fucking? Is there blood on that? Is there blood? That looks like blood. This room was closed up. Uh, dude, we did this already. Oh, dude, no, it's gonna be some bullshit. If something runs around that fucking corner, and like I watch you in the worst way, dude. Is he? Is this a time loop? What's? Oh my god, dude! I don't even know. Really Why would they time loop it? By the way, I will point out the fact that. It's impressive that they did all this shit. They put all these furniture, like furniture stuff, in all these rooms, and like they really set this up. You motherfuckers, dude! Stop Some getting so fucking close to the goddamn grates. Just go where's the exit? What the oh, fuck, no. dude? Why do they gotta make it so loud? The rook leaks. I hate when my rook leaks. You can fast. You look like you're breaking down over there. No, the fucking earbuds fall out. They... Oh. Do you just need some fucking kills? Oh, there's oh, hair. Is that hair? Oh, is hair. that hair on the ceiling? It said there are rat nests above this. There's there was that was hair. Oh. That's gonna be something. Fucking herky jerky bullshit. Some Japanese girl crawling from the ceiling, probably that calling for him. But, oh my god, dude! Why the fuck? How much time? <laughs> fucking shit, dude! I cannot stand that shit, dude. I okay. swear to God, them. Why is he like jerking the goddamn doors open like that? I'm on a train with cocaine. There's more blood. Is that blood? Yeah, there's blood. There's blood. Oh my god. That's fucking blood, bro. That's blood. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lot of my grandma's dresses. Yeah. Oh my god. Fucking blood. No, no more. Shimon. Let's get to the end of the video. Shimon. Oh, it said they turned black like blood stains. Papa Roach. Cut my life into pieces. This is my oh, last resort. Pin bodies, mannequins, don't know how the fuck I got a license. <laughs> this is the doll room. There are various types of dolls. Yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It smells of cheap baloney. Yeah, but what's actually we're hearing is Frampton Comes Alive. Everyone has Frampton Comes Alive. <laughs> Everyone has friends because of one. Dude, I feel like I'm starting to feel like I'm in the middle of like Unfriended three. No way, dude. Unfriended was way better. The second. No, one. like you and me are are the characters in the movie. We're oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, yeah. We're probably watching some cursed ass shit. Dude, I can't fucking do this shit. Like, first off, look at that fucking face. Why would you have that in your house? Yeah. Uh, it looks like a Ramstein photo. <laughs> dos, dos, 
No hostiles too far. God damn it, dude. Stop stepping on fucking wood so hard. Did you hear? He's like, Yes, there's another hallway. There's always another fucking hallway. I'm getting so goddamn. How many fucking hallways did they make? Like, this is the biggest house I've ever seen in my life. This dude lives in the Underground Railroad. Yeah, this guy lives in the Sarah Winchester house. It just keeps morphing around it. His father listens to the Kama Sutra. <laughs> this is like a fucking nightmare. Like, this is kind of like what if you had a nightmare, you'd just be walking through endless hallways. All right. Who votes to fast forward to the end? Just fast forward the shit, dude. It's long. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm losing patience. Okay, I'm gonna go to the big bump right here. Here we go. Yeah, another hallway. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck oh. is that? Goodies. Go, Hilla. Go. Vamanos. This is the shittiest apartment I've ever seen in my life. It's gotta be New York. <laughs> this reminds me of college. Whoa! Oh, what the fuck the is in there? My grandfather is here! Oh my god, dude. Like, this is like Hellraiser shit. Dude, I feel like this is like some fucking, like, like, dark web shit. This is the weirdest Cribs tour I've ever seen. Is that... Is and that, this is where the magic happens. When I open it, do my... Oh, it's getting goopy. I hear a super So I think it's supposed to be repetitive, and shit just gets more fucked up. Yeah, we know. He's listening to the fucking Sutra. Oh, my God. Dude, I feel like we're cursing ourselves. I, I, dude, I'm not watching as much as you think I am. I'm, like, using my brim of the hat to, like, absorb. <laughs> yeah, look at it. I am looking at it, but I'm not. Ectoplasm. I'm, like, doing this shit like I'm looking. Under. Okay, so this dude is trapped in, like, a Grave Encounters paranormal time loop. This is hell, basically. And he's like, yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. It was like a dream. It's like a like a weird, surreal type of dream that you have, and you're like seeing <gasps> what the fuck is on the goddamn chicha bits. Oh, chicha bits. The holes eaten by insects have turned black like blood stains. No one has been in this room for a very long You don't it, say like a building inspector. And when you reach the final circle of hell, the suture just turns into nickelback. Look at this oh, photograph. Oh, what the fuck oh my great grandma makes me laugh. The Tata -ta mats are really damaged. <laughs> Look at this photograph. <laughs> I really need to move away from this ass. Oh, okay. That was stupid. That All wasn't right, scared. Well, you guys were stop, scared. I gotta go. It. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go pee real quick though. But uh, okay, I, I wasn't scared. You guys were stupid. You're man. you're scared. You're not scared. You guys are so so scared. scared. It's ridiculous. It's I can't, it go I straight can't to head drop cap. Yep, that's what it was, Jordan. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> me and Jordan got the same sense of humor. I wasn't. No, Creasefold. No, that was actually super fucked up and creepy, man. We're we're joking. No, was good, it was no, long, crazy. but we fast forwarded. You, next time you keep it to yourself. Okay, keep it to yourself. <laughs> it's it's scary on like a more cerebral level there's no doubt about that there is something deep dark and twisted inside the brain of that fucking video and i don't like it i feel like we just like our ip address has just got leaked to www.yourfuckinghaunted.com uh and it feels dark and i don't like it uh that's funny because we short decker said it reminded me of the hand chop cap short um <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun i can already tell this is gonna be very fun um someone said did i miss anything funny obviously austin it's us so no um <laughs> uh, let me scoot up here a little bit let me scoot on up scoot on up sucking lots of dick squeezing some tits in the backyard with my kids no that's not now that song should have gone I'm, i apologize to everyone who uh um watches this piece of shit i'm scrolling i can't get to the top of the mountain um okay here we go here we go sinister creation said gonna start selling my art soon wish me luck hey man good for you that's a beautiful thing man making money off of something from your heart and soul that's fucking awesome uh we do wish you luck my good man that's badass. Six two one nine. This says you guys need to come to Virginia at some point, purely for my benefit. I, if you don't, I don't know if you know this, but I grew up in Virginia from the time I was two to the time I was like nine, niner. Uh, I grew up there, a little bit off Virginia Beach. I like Virginia a whole lot, man. I enjoy that place. Um, 
Courtney Reed said, Jay, can I get an Ozarks Ruth Langmare about the Batman 2? I don't think he knows who that is, Courtney, but I love you, and I will ask him when he comes back. Jay Jonah Imperato says, hey, guys, just want to say you're both awesome. Love the channel. Jonah, you're fucking awesome. No, you're a fucking riot. Thanks, Jonah. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, Ace Reed, when I teach when I teach masturbation, I'm always like, just have fun with it. <laughs> I fucking love that, dude. And I knew that was the opening to that song for so long because the bathroom stall when you would flush the toilet. It'd be like, when I teach masturbation, I'm just like, just have fun with it. I love that. The only thing I hate about that is that my uh, six year old fucking seven year old loves Blink One Eighty Two, like adores them um just as well as my 14 year old does so whenever and she like drives my wife crazy because she wants to listen to one more time over and over and edging over and over again um but that song starts out with that line so i'm gonna have to every time she wants to play it which i'm cool with i'm gonna have to like mute right when he gets it when i teach master you know and eventually she's gonna find i'm screwed i'm just screwed but i fucking love it dude it's so goddamn good it's in my head right now. Literally. It's ole, ole, ole. It's happening in my brain at all times. That's why I'm in such a good fucking mood tonight. Listen to it, everybody. Dance with me. I have Blink-182. It's a great song. Chris James said, also, and also, Lions Run the North. You know, unfortunately, they fucking do right now. We'll see how it lasts. I don't think that they are built to handle success, Christian. I think that they will eventually succeed the North to the Packers this year. Uh, if not, definitely soon after that. You watch and see. You watch and see. I was happy for them until they purposely knocked the Packers out of the playoffs last year. Now I'm on some fuck the line shit deep down and dark, but I do love me some NCDC. Ringy 542 said, have I missed all the spook stories? Not even begun. You have reached the tip and there's so much more to go. There's so much more tip to swallow. There's the whole shit and the base. I don't know what I'm saying. I hear Jay coming back, coming back to the room. That was a, um, that was an early pee break, man. Are you feeling a little woozy there? Nope. No, I feel strong. <laughs> I'm strong, child. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Dum 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 dum. And if I open this, there's another hallway. You guys uh, ever see Indian Thriller? That's a must. That shit was funny as fuck. Come on, yeah. Kali ma. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> like when he was like, he goes, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Indian thriller is the fucking best. It is the best. Uh, Courtney said, Jay, can I get Ozark's Ruth Langmore about the Batman? <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> I, I didn't think you did, but uh, we still love you anyway, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Hey. I, I have to, I don't know who Ruth, I, I never seen Ozark. I extremely have to pee as well, but before I do, Tim C, the good man that he is. Oh, goddamn, Tim. Fucking, one of them red super chats. One of them big fucking red ones. Uh, thanks, Tim. We love you, dude. Uh, hey, all, I'm going to silently sulk since besides the Patreon, YouTube has not notified me of the last four live streams. I randomly come across this one night. Let's see some fucking ghosts. Hey, buddy. We're here hey, tonight, man. though. Thank you, Tim. We're here man. tonight. What an awesome dude. Yeah, dude, I don't, well, I don't, it's, it's kind of like YouTube doesn't, doesn't want to recommend our videos to the subscribers because they fucking hate us. Or it could just be, I don't know. It could be a coincidence. It could just be a coincidence. Yeah. Four in a Tim, row. I don't, that's a coincidence. I don't know, brother, if you have uh Twitter and all that or not, but I always do. Cause we know that YouTube fails us all. Uh, I do have a twit the, the Twitter. I always post when we're going to do the videos on there and I post on the Facebook too. And I'm going to start posting them on the Instagram again. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to make an account, even if it's just check that out, set up notifications, uh, hopefully they will at least remind you, uh, and also uh, talk a lot of shit on those. So yeah, uh, and I, I, I definitely post every day on MySpace. It's like no one's yeah. listening. Yeah, but, Jay uh, just writes in his journal. I have a journal. Uh, I have a LinkedIn, and uh, I also post on MySpace. Uh, quite yeah, frequently. yeah, it's a yeah. big deal, man. It's You're no, a big deal, Tim. Just no one is like listening. I don't know. It's weird. It's like they don't exist anymore. It's stupid. <laughs> I just can't make these journal entries yeah, go viral. Well, no matter how hard I try. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing! I sit out months. <laughs> uh you're the fucking best tim thank you buddy um okay while i'm gone we are at 909 909 p.m i'm the most not racist person you've ever seen i've changed my battery fuck it's gonna die shit fuck who are we at at 909 uh child of the okay child of the car that's all i got he's like child uh, who he was talking about who i got the burpee murphys okay child of the corn thank you so much child of the corn What's good, fellas? 
everything's fine. Uh, this was my go-to bowling set list. Still of the night, still of the night, white snake. Okay. Hash pipe, Weezer, Fly, Sugar Ray, Walking on the Sun, Smash Mouth, Fly Away, Kravitz, and Cowboy Kid Rock. Pick three. That's a pretty sexy list for for uh for the bowlings. Uh, I like it. Um <clears throat> I think if I had to pick three of those, I think I'm gonna go with um Fly Away. I'm gonna go with Walking on the Sun. And I I I like still the night. I just I feel like I'm gonna go with hash pipe. So yeah, I'm yeah, I like that. I like that list. I feel like that's a good bowling party to have those three songs coming up. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. But that sounds like a great uh list uh for your bowling activities, child of the corn, while you're not cutting corn. But yeah, man, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll ask Mike what his three are. And you worried 909. Still going through. Sean 913 says Saw Skit was amazing. Sad you gotta write a disclaimer. What? Who wrote a disclaimer? Mike did. What the fuck? But hilarious how you took it back to the good old days when you can make fun of everyone. It was just plain funny. Happy spooky month. Appreciate that, Sean. Yeah, well, that's what we try to do around here. Is uh it doesn't matter where you're from, what your story is, what goddamn political party you represent, or what the fuck you all about. We're going to make fun of it, and that's the way it's going to be, all right? If you sound stupid online, we're going to make fun of it. If you sound stupid in the media, we're going to make fun of it. It don't matter if you're red or blue, if you're sucking the donkey dick or having a Fu Manchu with the elephant toe, the Republicans. It don't matter. But, yeah, I didn't know about the disclaimer. But, yeah, I think I mentioned, I think, um, yeah, it. Dude, people get so pissed off about anything these days. It's like, it's literally like being a, a Vietnam soldier trying to like figure out where the mines are as you're crawling through the muck and gunk to get to uh, the objective. I don't know. I, I, that was a really stupid allegory, but you know what I mean. But yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, James Jackson says, Jay, who is that girl behind you? I knew you were lying because there's definitely no girl behind me. Okay. See, stupid. Uh, no, I'm married, so there's definitely no girl behind me. Because otherwise, I'd be castrated. Uh, but thank you, James, for attempting that. You know what? If you had done that in the middle of the video, which I was watching, I was I don't, like, literally my focus is here and just not having a heart attack while I'm watching these bullshit tell videos. So I'm not, <laughs> I wouldn't have read your, <laughs> but James, thank you for the attempt at the heart attack. Jordan Decker, thank you so much, says, reminded me of a hand job cabin short brasieres i think so jordan decker i have not renewed my brasieres subscription in a while but yeah maybe maybe that's a good one shane dogs with a z says i got you the best scary as fuck short film on youtube sorry guys i know that you, some of you guys are listening on this podcast i'm sorry about that you mean to shout search for selfie from hell no way Goes for about over a minute. Enjoy. Love you both. Love you, Shane. Not going to even pass that along up the chain to Mike. I'm not even going to mention it. I don't know what you're talking about. No way. But appreciate you nonetheless. Uh, Chase says, uh, Jay needs to be wearing his brown pants. How do you know I'm not? Okay. They were blue, and they suddenly changed brown because of all the shit in them, like a mood ring. Interesting. Colton Candler says, uh, hope we get some news on the Crystal Lake show next Friday. What Halloween's do you watch every October? Mike, I just sent you a short to the email. Uh, I'll tell Mike that you did, Colton. Um, as far as uh, Halloween movies, I watch every October 100%. I watch um, Pumpkinhead, Halloween 4, um, yeah, and House on Haunted Hill. I, I, I'd, I'd watch House on Haunted Hill, the, the, the remake. I, I'd watch House on Haunted Hill, um, the remake, at, at any point. Because I, I do feel like it's a it's a really fun, cheesy movie. Um, but I feel like it's really cool to watch it on uh, or in and around the fall. Um, but to be honest, there's also another one, Event Horizon. And it's weird. I just read an article about Event Horizon about them still trying to get the director's cut, which I don't think is ever going to happen. Because from what I heard, or, or Paul uh, W.S. Anderson said that uh, the the original, the footage, the, the unedited, the director's cut footage of um, the of Event Horizon was destroyed. I don't know. Hopefully that's wrong and they can find it. But yeah, I, I would say Halloween movies, 
Pumpkinhead, Halloween 4, and um, um, House of Haunted Hill, the remake. But thanks, man. Uh, I'll ask Mike, too. So you were 922. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, I think we're... No, we're not cut up. We're not cut up. We're not cut up. Holy shit. Scrolling, scrolling. Uh, Chris Foles... Uh, oh, so he... Mike answered that. Um, uh, Mr. Clumps, thank you, dude, uh, says, do Japanese haunted hospital full uploaded 12 years ago the scariest video ever not scarier than the pic that you show the public mr clumps and no okay but i'll i'm not doing that one i mean how long is that because you say japanese haunted hospital full with cap full like f-u-l-l caps so that means is it like 24 minutes i don't know mr clumps i just don't know Austin Salem says, if this got Jay that bad, he may not be able to handle the videos I've sent you. Might have some bangers in there. Can't wait. Well, fuck you, Austin. Okay, I don't like that at all. I don't like your uh, confidence, and I don't like the attitude that you brought with that at all. Yeah, it fucks <coughs> you up. All right, so uh, I stopped at 9.35, but you need to answer. Uh, I don't answer anybody. Uh, don't tell me what to do. Uh, 9.22, Colton. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was nine. Yeah. So do 909 child of the corn. I answered mine. And then, um, Colton Candler. So go to 909 first for child. Yeah. Of Can you feel it? Am I in? Mm -hmm. I'm done. <laughs> I finished. It's over. Thank God. Um, it was like a little bird trying to look for a nest. Uh, who, who at 909 child of the corn. Oh, so I, I picked uh, my three. Bowling set list? A bowling yep. set list? Uh, those are, I do love hash pipe. I will do that at karaoke for fun. Sugar Ray walking on the dude. He's got a good list. I, I I'm not you into got, the you got to you put, put your mindset in bowling. Like, what yeah, you got to um, like? uh, I'm going to go edging from Blink-182. I know that's not surprising to anyone, but that sounds No, like dude. You have song. to pick his list. Oh, wait, what? It says pick three of his list. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going hash pipe. I'm going fly by Sugar Ray, and I'm going... Ooh, no, no. God, stupid. I'm going cowboy. Yeah, oh I'm going God. hash pipe, fly, fly, cowboy. I'm not a fan of Kid Rock the person so much and all his political shit. I like uh, the music. But, no, the music's fine. Yeah, I do love that album. I, 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 I picked, uh, I picked uh, uh, mine was uh, Fly Away by Kravitz. Because uh, I was thinking, like, if you're in the fucking, like, if you're bowling and this song was coming on to kind of get you hyped up, Fly Away by Hash Pipe. And then uh, walking on the sun were my three. Yeah, but you actually throw a strike and you're like, cause chaos, rock like Amadeus, got West Ports, coast, coast pussy for my Detroit players, ball like Lakers. No, <laughs> I, no, well, I, I think it'll fly away if I do really bad. I want to fly <laughs> <or> like that. <laughs> Gonna paint his town red while I paint his wife white. Uh. Um, okay, anyways. <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, Colton. Good old uh, Colton. Colton. Yeah, the next one was Colton. Colton Candler. I want to handle. Your dick. Oh, oh. Um, I hope we get some news on the Crystal Lake show next Friday. Oh, yeah, because it's Friday the 13th. There's got maybe a trailer. Oh, I yeah, I didn't answer that part because I didn't know anything about it, but I would shit my britches. Um, yeah, how, there's this next Friday is actually October the 13th, Friday the 13th. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Uh, what how movies, how many movies do you watch every October? Uh, Mike just sent a short thanks, man. Uh, I, I always have to start at the beginning even though I've seen it a million times this year, I just went straight from that to H2O because MJ had never seen it. Mm -hmm. uh, but typically I'm always going to go four. I'm always going to go six. Uh, and I'm going to start throwing 2018 into the rotation. Um, oh, and I'm definitely, I, yeah. I didn't know he meant like that. I meant like, I thought he meant just like Halloween. Oh movie. yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe well, no, right. I mean, I he probably meant Michael Myers. I just picked like a fucking yeah. pumpkin head house on the haunted hill and Halloween four. Oh, yeah. No, those are good picks. I don't really have s specific ones. I always watch the Halloween ones. That's the only ones I for sure watch. That's probably what he meant. I'm just stupid. <clears throat> I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'm just what dumb! Time, what timestamp did you leave I, off I, of, though? I don't know. Uh, what was the last one you no, read? You on. I think whore? it was... Uh, by the way, I saw Will's like, random comment. It was like, Mike said, send videos to Scare Jay, and I sent videos to Scare Jay, yet I'm the asshole. <laughs> like, somebody's getting divorced. Like, it's just <laughs> happening. Um, Reddit, am I the asshole? I did. I think the last one I did was um, 
Yeah, I, so we're at 936. We're on Kabodge. 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 We'll read this one, and then we'll watch a couple more before we get back into them. Cabbage. <laughs> That's a good picture. Y'all need to watch that short film, No Through Road. No Through Road. That yeah. sounds dark. That sounds like a girl's pants that you're trying to get into. She's like, nope. No through road. So my, dudes, like my right. ex-wife's fucking lawyer. <laughs> or just the divorce. I couldn't girl. afford one. So it's like no through road for fair trial. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one comes from Chris Parrish and it's a TikTok. It's our first TikTok. So we got a short. How long is the TikTok? Uh, they're like 30 seconds. Or I can let, I'm allowed to ask the goddamn link, you motherfuckers. Okay. I'm allowed to ask the link. It doesn't matter because it could be like scary in the first 10 seconds. This is 17 seconds long. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't like that at all. Like, they're very confident. <laughs> is there anything you're happy with? No, oh. dude. They're very confident. All right. Like, oh, I'm going to get you in 17 seconds, bitch. Oh. Here we go. I just found one of the scariest videos from the dark web. The yeah. video I have to show you is 100% real, and it's oh. not for the faint of heart. So if, if you're triggered easily, I'd skip this one. So you were warned. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Okay. What <laughs> the fuck? I knew it was. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I knew it was. Up to Cunt. I was actually preparing for like some like bazooka ass fucking horror shit. And then he was, was like, touch your butt. God damn it, Chris Parrish. How like dare it. you? Um, okay, this one comes from Daryl Searcy. And it is another TikTok. Do some of those TikTok videos? I, I I've seen oh, like no, a uh, short. I've seen some that are uh collab or that they, they do a compilation on Nuke, Nuke's top five, Nuke Norway, on YouTube, and they're fucking scary <laughs> shit. Well, this won't let me make it full screen, so I'm gonna have to just Good. like do the small like one that. here. I like that. Do it small. I like my wiener. This man was exploring a haunted house alone when he captured this on camera. Mm. I like the music sucks because it makes me scared. Oh, oh, ooh, the shadow. Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna eat his blood. That's a, they're using the changeling. Uh holy shit, dude. The changeling. That's fucking ooh. Ooh. what the hell is that? You know that's what you guys friend. Think? Wow. Also, for long form videos, follow me on YouTube. No, link in bio. I don't know who you this are. Man was All right. Well, I don't I mean, I, you know, listen, I've watched a bunch of these like possible real paranormal caught on camera, but I feel like in certain instances, I mean, they don't really talk. These could be like home invaders. Like these could be like, you know, like hobos that hide in the walls. You know what I mean? And they just like eat your food when you go to sleep. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Like they come yeah. down at night. That's fucking scary because that shit can happen. It's happened before. Like yeah, that guy I, looked like a, a fucking like he was just like an old white man that like had really bad albino skin. Here's my <laughs> here's my question though. Like if you're searching a haunted house and you set up your camera and then you go upstairs where the camera can't see you, I think that was fake. I think it was fake. Yeah, most likely it was fake. I'm not saying I don't it wasn't. believe. I mean, first off, I've never like TikTok videos are generally like usually bullshit but there are like i've seen some instances of like ooh, i don't know what that was that's kind of fucking weird and they've been recorded on tiktok but generally speaking that kind of stuff it looks like a guy that was just like hiding in someone's fucking wall and waiting for them to go to bed or hiding in their closet and then like squatting like there's a um it, it turned out to be false or fake but there was a video that was like getting circulation for a long time a few years ago where a woman climbed down from the fucking ceiling and she supposedly urinated in their sink and then was eating their food and watching tv while they were sleeping in the bed and when she heard someone get up she like ran back into her hidey hole because they didn't look and know that it was there and it turned out to be fake but those cases have happened before like people that have like homeless homeless people that have like taken up residence in an apartment complex or a building or something like that. And they didn't know they were there. Oh and yeah. They made a movie that I see movies about that kind of shit. Yeah. Happening. I mean, that shit can happen. That's like fucking scary. Cause a human being can do that. And that's fucking scary. Uh, this next one comes from Michael Parton and this is from a movie. It's in YouTube short form. So it is short. Um, mm. Like my wiener mm -hmm. on opposite day. <laughs> you know, what's up? <laughs> mm. <sighs> I feel like this one's for you, Jay. Do on. Oh, fuck you, Michael. Oh, take your ass back to the bathroom. 
Oh my god. What and the fuck? Dude? Why she look like that? Holy fuck. This bitch is way worse. You got a new port. Ooh. Hey, uh, you're oh. all out of goldfish. Oh my gosh, she cracked her chin. The way that went. Ah, ca, ca, ca. She cracked her jaw like she was at the chiropractor. Ah, ca, ca. I, you know what? It was a little nasty. Wasn't that bad, though. Maybe it's because it's just not aging that well. Because I think uh, Junon, uh, the original Junon, wasn't really a huge, big budget movie. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was. This one comes from Chase Banks, and it's, ah, Chase uh, Bank. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not affiliate. I, I have Capital One, but <laughs> this is a five minute horror short, a little bit longer. Here we go, dude. God damn it! I hate the fucking setups. Christian tradition Christian. marks. Ooh, I know about three p.m. Yeah, and three a.m. is like the devil's opposite side. Yeah, since you I have associated 3 a.m. as the witching hour, a time I've heard this, and the, that's when I wake up to eat cupcakes. Is, yeah, dude, I've been up at 3 a.m. before drunk as fuck, and nothing's happened. <laughs> I just eat pastries. I'm just maybe too drunk. A devil could be literally talking to me, like, "What are you talking about?" McNeil. Mmm. 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. That's Nefarious. a stupid schedule. Nefaria. <laughs> How do people how do people text that fast? I can't do while that. walking upstairs. Yeah, I can't do that at all. Like even if I wasn't walking, if I'm just sitting on the stairs, I couldn't do that. For oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a stupid clock. Actually, let's head out. I kind of like it for Stab Lab hour on B. You know, my boyfriend never wants to come here with me for that reason. Yeah, because he's, he's cheating scared, on you. But I told him time and time again that it's just some stupid ghost story. Dude, if I was a, if, if I were like day one employee, that's exactly what I'd be like. Bitch, don't talk to them about ghost stories in my building I work in. <laughs> like I'm here. Stop. He's using Chat GBT to cheat on schoolwork, so he gets whatever's coming to him. Cheater. Stop using AI. I like that jam though. I feel like I'm in the middle of an axe body spray commercial. Like that guy looks like he's gonna send me some axe body spray. He does have and nice like, hair. Hot ass ghost girls are gonna like spray him down. Dude, you have that jacket. No, I don't. That jacket that was hanging, you have that jacket. Stop looking at me, Spawn. That's your dad like asking watching you every horror homework. video tonight. <laughs> that first sip feeling. Here we go. <sighs> the witching hour. Yeah. Is the Sanderson sisters gonna show up? Oh. God damn it, dude. You don't need to make some weird ass growly ass sounds in the middle of the dark. What the fuck? If it's a devil, just go. Ah! Shut up, dots. Hello? God damn it. Shit. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yo, hello. Look, that's not stupid. Oh my God. Oh my Here we God. Go. Oh my God. This is, this oh is promising. God. Why are you doing it like this? I don't even like that. Apple sponsored Sh this. Lift your skirt and show it to me. Ghosts of Nahandra. Jingle jangle. Apollo has lifted her skirt. The day <laughs> has begun. Up. Megan. Mithrigan. Dude, oh my god, their face goes. <laughs> Steve? Ooh. 3 a.m. Megan, I'm oh, in the computer lab and the lights went out. Oh my god. I'm here alone. Are you okay? Stay on the phone with me, please. It's not that big Should of I call deal. someone? No, I'm and just calm down. Leave. Uh, give me a second. Just stay on. She's your friend, not your mom. Oh, shit. What the fuck, dude? Ole, ole, ole. Hey, yeah. Come on. Get off this Blair Witch bullshit. Do it all night long. Oh, God. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh! It's just a pain. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. Oh, the fucking Al owl head turned. turned. Who? Ah, ah. Fuck, shit. Fuck, dude. What are you fuck, dude, that really got me. That really got me for a second. For real, though. For real, though. For real, though. Oh, my back just cracked. My back just cracked. Up. Oh, fuck, dude. My fucking back cracked. Though, for real. Beat up about how I used to get beat up. Oh, they, oh shit, dude. That hurt. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come see about me. 
Hydration is very important. What? What? Oh, fucking shit. No fucking way, dude. Should I? Call Shut the one fuck one up, one. bitch. Call 911. Oh, my God. Why are you going downstairs to it? Why are you going downstairs to it? Oh, did you see that? No, I don't want to see you no more. Did you see the little face? No, dude. That was some exorcist shit. Oh, no. I just saw it, though. Fixed I just it saw it. I looked at the trap, Ray. I looked at the trap, Ray. Oh, why would I get scared to do Eminem lyrics? Oh, it's the dude in the stall next to you at Walmart. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Fucking bitch! <laughs> oh my god, you fucking... Oh! <laughs> Dude, I got fucking Woo! goose pimples all over both fucking arms, dude. Holy that shit. Was, that was solid. That was solid. <laughs> Sharon said, did the ghost just squirt? <laughs> no, but my butthole just did. A little, oh. a little juicy poop just came well, out. Hey, well, fucking juicy God. poop. That was, it's going to move, move you. That was one of the best way, ones. How that comes... fucking dumb are you? I just saw a weird ghost shape. Go past the doorway. I'm gonna go downstairs because I'm on speakerphone with this bitch who's gonna suddenly magically appear with the police to shoot it. Stay the fuck in your goddamn room next to the computer and stay there in the corner. Don't Dude, give that the was goddamn the best. goat. Don't give the goats and ghosts. That was the best one yet. Dude, that gave me heartburn. That was good. That was really good. That's from 3 a.m. films. If you guys Dude, want to check I'll them tell you out. What, even though that fucking scare me, that would be a really good opening to something like Friday the 13th. If they remade it where she's oh, fucking yeah. crazy and she's in a hallway stalking <clears> someone <throat> and just like do like a like, you know how they did with Friday the 13th, 2009. Just do a quick like 20 minute thing. And she's like, yeah. and like she's killing people <laughs> and like hunting them down. That would be fucking scary. And that sets up the whole film. All right. I've gone right into the next one, dude. This one's also from Chase. This is a nine minute short film. No, so strap in nine minutes, dude. God, nine minutes. guys, calm it the fuck down. That, I got time for that shit. That's the limit, by the way. Let's keep them under 10 minutes for sure. How about just keep them uh, under five? Nine minutes is a long fucking time. Holy shit. I get oh, you want to go to another one instead of doing this one. Yeah, I think it's too long. I just, okay. I mean, well, it, well, it's like, I, I'm into the short shit. Okay. Uh, Austin Vergara sent don't peak. This one's six minutes, 47 seconds. That's a, that's a little bit more. Um, okay. Let's do this. This is from Austin. And it is from <laughs> Nat. Julian Terry posted this. It's got 10 million views on it. Let's get in it. It's called Don't Peek. Yeah, I'm not going to. That's what I tell the dudes next to me in the, in the urinals. I'm like, don't look at my dick. That's what I tell my wife when the lights are on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. This is fun. This is a great idea. We should keep doing these. This is great. Yeah, idea. for you. It's not for me. <laughs> I literally feel blood pressure. I'm going to take a little Cinepril. <laughs> That's it. I went to the, I went to the doctor for blood pressure, by the way. He's like, I'm not going to put you on the Cinepril. He's like, just lose 10 to 15 pounds, you fat fuck. I was like, okay. like yeah, I'm good. Just That's give me the Cinepril. I'm, I like eating. I like food. I'm sorry that <laughs> the other people can't afford it and I'm fat because they don't have money for food. A little gaming. She is not. How old are you? Oh, with some smoky. Her face looks like she's like in her thirties at least. Like, is she trying to be like a young kid alone at home? <laughs> Coming from us. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, you know, back in the day, like, you used to cast like thirty year olds as high school students. Oh yeah, yeah. She's a pretty lady. I'm not saying she's ugly. I'm just saying I hope you're you not trying, trying to, to pretend to be like fucking a high school student. And you're 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 definitely giving people a hard on with your feet out there like that that people have foot fetishes. I didn't notice it until now. I'm having a hard time not looking at it. Mm -hmm. Hey, look! A goddamn door just opened up and shut. I guess I should just sit here and play my stupid Minecraft game. <laughs> look at the smoke. Get the fuck. Oh my god, dude, this one I jump out the fucking window. Like, I'm talking about one sign. Oh my god. You would. What do you mean you would? I would you survive. Would. <laughs> you, you would. 
I would. I'd totally do what? I would yeah. jump out the window. <laughs> Are you talking about our feet? No. Get your head out yeah. of the gutter trash. <laughs> they are very smooth. She has very nice arches. Ghost gonna pop out like, hey baby, look at you. Hey, right now, that photo, photo, no it's, gonna be, it's gonna be that weird guy with glasses sucking on a toe. Oh, look at that. <sighs> it's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Castlevania, uh, 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 huh? I, I've seen women's face look like that before. Mm. Disappointment. Take your broke ass out the fucking window. Oh yeah, yeah. that's gonna make it all Bro go away. I'll just pull, I'll just turn over to my side and show my asshole and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I can't this is why I hate someone fucking... likes feet. Yeah, dude. It's, it, it, who the is Quentin Tantino directing this? <laughs> what? Somebody's got a foot fetish and a light. Turning off. Somebody once told me the world is gonna uh -huh. roll me. I hate the sharpest tool in this shit. Might as well be walking on the side. <laughs> By the way, RIP. You left your fucking phone at the foot of the bed, and now you must retrieve it. It's a switch, Jay. Oh my god. Oh, is it a switch? Yeah. Hi, Hebel. This shit reminds me of Surf Ninjas when the, when the kid's playing with the Game Gear and he can like <laughs> predict the future. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's the same shit. <laughs> He's playing Shinobi. <laughs> no, hell no. Fuck you. Stay in the dark. That's wild, though. I don't like it. Mm -mm. No. Press no. Quickly. Mm -mm. Fabinos. Mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 goddamn lacrosse teams. <laughs> no, dude, stop this shit. I gotta sleep tonight, motherfuckers. This is some tent shit. This is good. This is well made. It's better than the Exorcist Believer Shut already. Goddamn mouth. I don't want to talk about how good this is. Smoke your fucking vape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, look at him in the Stop corner. Stop looking at your fucking. It's not even a Nintendo Switch. It's it's, it, it's a Belindo Stitch. It's a fucking. Oh, oh, oh my God. Are you oh, fucking that's, shitting that's me? me under oh, the my covers. God, dude. Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, my God, dude. Okay. Yes. All Press right, yes. okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> no, no, sorry, Bobby Joey. Fucky, holy fucky. Let's go back to square one. He drinks a whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka drink. He drinks a soda drink. He Number drinks one, a lot of drinks. He thinks the songs that you remind him of the good times. Oh, Housekeeping? You want me to jerk you off? Throw that bitch, light your room on fire with that fucking oil lantern. Oh my god, not the fucking electric one. Oh, you stupid. Maybe you should turn off the lamp. You stupid. Oh my god, I don't like the way it's not. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> don't relax, ho! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, what are you got Everything's tarot? Everything's gonna be fun. Oh! Yeah. Oh. That was so weak. Oh, it's not over. Oh, it is over. It was so weak. No, it's not over. I it was, oh, it was a switch. So I guess this is an anti-Nintendo commercial. <laughs> oh, that was that was a good one, dude. That was really good. Uh -oh. I'm not sure 
it's the thing that sucks about the horse shorts is that they don't like they, they obviously a lot of times Dude, they I can't feel, afford to do the payoff exhausted. you're t- like i'm <laughs> tired like, yeah. i mean no it, it makes me tired because i gotta like have so much defense <laughs> mentally oh let's give let's give jay a breather and answer some super chats here for a minute super chat super chat super sean chat connery's, sean connery's birthday. birthday sean connery's birthday <laughs> <laughs> that was my that was my backpipes in person. <laughs> that was fucking. Was that was bad. good though. That was good. Admit it. Admit it. It was good. You liked it. No, I do. Listen, I don't hate horror movies or horror shorts. I think they're very impressive in how they ratchet up the tension. I just don't personally enjoy having my dick fall down between my asshole and my heart going <laughs> like teasing a fucking heart attack <laughs> uh crease full don't don't worry about it dude that was that was no, it, I, I, that I, was I, fucking yeah. creepy like that was like yeah that was gen- generally fucking creepy mr clumps is clump he's clump he no i answered that one all right no fuck him why did you tell me that because he said full which probably fuck. means like a 25 minute video did you do your favorite weapon what no, I didn't. No, I didn't. That, no, oh, no. by the way, I love this person because your favorite weapon was a great album. I know things went bad for brand new, but your favorite weapon's a fucking awesome album, no doubt about it. Besides Grave Encounters too, what's your IMDb look like? Um, well, Short mine shriveled and always to the left. <laughs> mine is mixed with uh, a pitcher. Uh, there's a pitcher named Mike Holtz who pitched, so like his like Monday night baseball appearances are all mixed in mine. It's stupid. That's it. Had multiple. Uh, I never looked up my. I, I think I've got a credit. Well, I know because I got a credit on IMDb. I think. No, I don't. If you go to Grave Encounters, you'll see uh, Jonathan Jones or Jay Jones as a vlogger. Um, yeah, I don't. Is that think, you? Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't have an IMDb. Even though me and Mike have done, uh, we did a couple of uh, uh, fan films, or one of them, two of them. Uh, we were, did you read Wolf of Elm Street? No, I read okay. the, I read the earlier one, but not that one. Uh, need Patreon for Saturday live streams? You guys do. The Saturday live streams are and so once a month on Saturdays are yeah. insane. And the best part about it is, if you join the Patreon, you get like the past fifty of them immediately. So and they're and they're you also not get access to the uh, the commentaries. Yes, and all the shit. And they're not they're not topic centric. They're not like, oh, it's gonna be old Halloween news. No, mm-hmm. on the Patreon streams, we just fuck around for three hours and do wild, crazy shit. We play songs, we play music. It's 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 wild. So check that out for sure. Well, the commentaries um, are really cool though, because like there's literally like I think there's over like a hundred of them. Mm-hmm. I think like of commentaries that haven't been released on YouTube. Yeah, I think it's over a hundred at this point. Uh, Max Devereaux says you guys have to watch Ozark. I watched the first season Mike and is. I did enjoy it. I didn't feel the need to go back, but I did enjoy what I watched of it. Um, Zolidar Pals. Thank you. Thank so. you. Uh, thank, uh, Muchos apreciados. AM Ryder says most memorable scare for me. It's the sleepaway camp end. That's a good <laughs> one. That, that was, yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that your dick? <laughs> uh put that away it makes me feel ashamed uh memorable scared mine's gonna be i'm going straight to wreck the original wreck when they go up in that in that in that hole and they're looking around shook me really bad and the, the opening to the ring was a good one too um i i was gonna pick the vhs one but that i can't remember because i fainted um, but I, I will say one of the most memorable scares that I remember that always fuck even today, even though I know it's coming in the movie, it still fucks me up is, uh, in the exorcist when the, the face pops up in the black, like when you're watching, it, oh, yeah. like, you like, that, ah! <laughs> like that, gnarly. like that shit. Cause you, you imagine seeing that movie for the first time ever, ever. And you're in the theater in the blackened theater and everyone's just like honed in on this movie and then you're watching it and then the lights go and you're like oh dude that i mean do you you might think that you're seeing something and you you need to leave like yeah. somehow you got personally cursed for watching this movie and especially one, if no one's like i that happened in the ring too the ring if you watch really closely especially in the movie theater you can see it there's a like it, it cuts to another scene but in the middle of the black there's a there's a there's a, a symbol of the ring like you just watch the ring yeah, that shit will get you, dude. That that's a really good one. Uh, the Exorcist one, I love that one. Um, Gary says, "Did you hear they're remaking They Live? 
it doesn't need a re one. It doesn't re need a remake Two, They probably make it about hating Trump. Just make a sequel. They still live. Um, yeah, I didn't know they were, I, well, they, they're, they're remaking right. a lot of shit nowadays, dude. Like that doesn't need a remake, but yeah, I mean, you're probably right. I mean, I, I feel like it, it would be hating on one side or the other. It doesn't really matter about what side you fall on, but yeah, it, you, because they live as a, I feel like they live was an attack on corporate America. It, 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 when it came out, it was about, um, for me anyway, it was about consumerism and the fact that you're just like constantly told to buy this shit and you aren't going to look hot if you wear this shit and you're only going to be accepted if you own this shit. Like it, it was an attack on, on just this, um, out of control consumerism that everybody was, a you know, like they wanted to be in the cool club, but you're right. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I, I don't think it, either hating Trump or hating whatever, it might be hijacked about uh, politics because it's an easy <coughs> thing to hijack and make it about politics. Very easy. Well, if yeah. you watch Fox news, you're, you're, you're delusional and you're brainwashed. Or if you watch CNN, you're brainwashed, but I don't feel like that was John Carpenter's original idea for that. I feel like it was, I feel like it was an attack on corporate America. It was like corporate America was telling us if you don't, if you're, if you're not, if you're not in the in crowd, if you don't have the money to purchase this stuff, or if you don't buy what we tell you to buy, right. then you're you're outside of uh, you know. Yeah. So, but you're right. I but yeah, they should definitely make a sequel to it. But are you going to be able to? You can't get Roddy Rowdy Piper, which is what makes the movie so fucking awesome. Yeah, and whoever remakes that, you also can't get John Carpenter. So I mean, like whoever remakes that, I'm sure it'll go one way or the other. So it'll be yeah. I'm not interested either. Gary Austin says, Mike, in your band days, were you the lead singer? If I'm ever in a band, that's what I'd be, and we'd be called the Human Extinction Attack. <laughs> I like that name. That sounds awesome. It also sounds I like a DLC name. for a Starship Troopers game. Yeah, that's a great fucking name, dude. <laughs> Uh, I was the lead singer in the band uh, just because I couldn't put an instrument good enough to play it. Uh, but yeah, some some screaming, some singing, a little mix of both, uh, like the Papa Roach type shit, honestly. It was like in the new middle <laughs> ages. Um, and you should yeah, release your song, uh, The One Way Ride. Uh, one Way Ride. Uh, uh, there's because there's there, you, they can be found on the internet. They really can. Uh, yeah, oh, that yeah was I'm fun. proud that you all time. put that out there for real. Yeah, I made a little demo. It's a good time, man. Uh, I wish I could sing better at the time, but it was a good time. Um, okay, let's watch Super no, no, Sharky no, no, no. Game. I have to go pee again. Okay, get your PP. I'll out. be back. I'll be back. Show it to me. I'll be back. Show me your dick. Show us your dick. Um, so before we do that, I will answer a couple more of yours. Yeah, dude, it was fun. Uh, our band name was Falling to Rise. Uh, we we had a hell of a time trying to pick, pick a band name, so don't judge us. If I could name a band today, it would be Paul Rudd Pipe Attack uh in honor of h6 that would be my punk band name and i would do punk music because that was always my favorite but like that's the kind of music my friends were doing and, and i still like that kind of music then so yeah we did like papa roach type stuff and i still love that that kind of music like a lot of it but yeah that's what we did like the screaming type shit uh wasn't particularly my forte but i was just happy to be playing in a band that played shows it was a great fucking time man it's a good time uh good memories from those times adrian yabara i'm hyped terrifier 2 is getting a new theater run each watch at home has not matched that initial experience last year plus a t3 teaser coming also yeah dude um watching terrifier 2 in the fucking movie theater was a blast because when i saw it they were only doing certain show times and the theater was completely full so you had someone on your right you had someone on your left when you got your tickets and to watch people's fucking reaction was so fun to that shit terrifier 2 if you get a chance to do a busy theater go do it go watch it and i love the movie i thought they did a great job with it uh and the fact that there's and the the, the terrifier 3 teaser damien leon the director came out and said it's not just some bullshit 20 second thing it's a two minute full-on teaser so it's the actual trailer that's gonna be with that november 1st i'm gonna go i think adrian i think i'll probably go uh, I'm pumped too, dude. Night time. I emailed you a link for the scariest ghost video. Thank you, man. We're, there's no way we're going to get to all of them today because you guys did a really great job of sending them to us, but I'm having a fucking blast doing this tonight. So I say that we'll probably do this every couple of weeks or something until we get them all out, right? I mean, I'm having a great time. My original plan was to do this in person and have us do this in person, but uh, we have such limited time to do that. If we do this live like this and it works out great. And I think it's working out. So uh, this is fun. Maybe we could just add this as a new wrinkle to the show. Cause I'm having a blast. Are you guys having fun? I hope you are. Cause this is fucking fun. I know Jay's not, <laughs> but I'm having a good time. GJ. Grant! Thank you, buddy. That's fucking awesome, man. Uh, really appreciate the home Depot where I work already has Christmas shit up. Fuck that. Uh, it just makes me want to burn it all down. They only had Halloween shit up for two weeks, maybe less. I swear nobody cares about Halloween. Some don't even call it a holiday. 
I, I will tell you this, dude. Like, DJ, you're right. Like, we went to Home Goods, uh, used to be called Garden Ridge, and they used to have this huge fucking setup for Halloween shit. And they still had a little setup, but they already had their Halloween shit up. And these fucking Halloween blow ups were in the rafters. It was scary shit. Like, you think Halloween shit's scary, like pumpkins and shit. Imagine big fucking, like, child touching looking fucking santa claus fucking hanging down from the rafters and his fucking elves like it was actually scarier than any of the halloween shit but i will say people put out their halloween shit earlier and earlier which i do enjoy like it's it, i think the world is turning more towards halloween than away from it it used to be no one gave a fuck but i think now the pumpkin spice shit comes out a little earlier the decorations come out a little bit earlier i think we're trending in the right direction i do i do um, but I agree with you. Halloween should last fucking through November too. Fuck Thanksgiving. Uh, Halloween shouldn't end until Thanksgiving. Halloween should be the day before Thanksgiving. That's just how I feel about it. That's just that's just what I would do if it were fucking up to me. And it's not because I'm not God. Shan Dog says, Mike, search for the selfie from hell. Goes for one minute, 43 seconds. Trust me, Jay had a shook and I said and said no because he's scared it even won an award. Uh, email it to me, Shan Dogs. I have a whole list of stuff we're gonna go through tonight, but email it to me, send it to uh, I'll put the I'll put if you guys have any videos, I'll put the link in there right now and we will get to it. Uh, because like I said, I think we're gonna we're gonna do this every so often because this has been a fucking blast, and we still got more to go through tonight, but I already have a whole list of emails uh because you guys did such a great job sending them to me. But uh thanks for the tip. Did woo we? I have not got my full Halloween set up out yet, uh, which I'm shameful about. I usually have that shit up by September. I've just been so fucking busy, man. I have not had a second to breathe. I feel like the past couple months. Uh, but I, we've got some stuff out. My wife decorated the porch. It looks fucking awesome. Got a nice spider web shit going out there. Got some really cool stuff. I don't think I want to put the inflatables out this year because, like, we did it when nobody else was doing it, but now everybody has inflatables. So I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel right about it. And plus, they're so annoying because they keep fucking moving and the wind moves them and the fucking things don't work and it's just a shit show. But uh, every year we go out, we we go to all the the stores and we buy a couple new things to add to it, and then all the cool shit you guys have sent us over the years. So, uh, I fucking love Halloween decorating, man. It's the best, the best around none's ever gonna keep you down you suck dick like a champ jay hell yeah i love the way jay sucks dick it's don't okay. need nothing but a good time yeah. how can mike that's a dick he ain't looking for nothing but a, but a big geyser. cock and he's not gonna <laughs> suck it till you say i'm win. thirsty baby yeah okay hey. here we go what good times Good times. Good times in and around the hole, Jay. Mm -hmm. These are TikToks. Of course they is. That I'm going to present to you now. And they come from our buddy, Super Shark Gamer. Super Shark Gamer. So about what that. the fuck? What? Uh, just the, the, this person's just 20 seconds. Just a real quick one. Here 20 we go. seconds? 20 seconds. Longer than we last Ooh. in bed. Did you know, back in 2019, yeah, I, yeah. Nardo suit from the third live action Ninja Turtles movie went up for auction. This is the one that has that scary face due to the rubber suit receding. Looks like me waiting for my pizza rolls to be done. The suit for a Donatello one because of the faded headband. But if you look at his belt straps, which uh, are yeah. the ones Leonardo wears, and also the name on the listing of the auction, you can see that it's actually Leonardo. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure what. No, I mean, it does. I mean, I know they, but... they let that, that suit go to rot, which is a shame. But to be fair with you, um, ever since the original uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie, those suits got progressively bad. Even though their heads and tails, even uh, TMNT 3, Turtles in Time, uh, well, it wasn't called Turtles in Time. I don't remember what the third movie was called. Is what is heads and tails above Michael Bay's bullshit. In oh, I CGI totally agree. Shit. Like, you can I look, like the first, the, the, the original... Turtles cost the the uh, the rubber suits were fucking immaculate. They were awesome. Yeah. And then the second one, they got a little weird because they put moles on them. They're trying to make them a little different. It wasn't terrible, but the third one, they got goofy as fuck. And it really like you could tell that it was like like not on the level that the first or second one even was. But that was still better than the CGI shit. Like I, I don't understand it, dude. Like why can't we just go back to the fucking like original? I like, agree puppeteering costume shit i don't know i i totally agree i don't know why we're doing all this shit this is apparently a kid's song 
that fucks people up mm. back in the day. The Bunyip song. <laughs> Sounds like Twitter users. <laughs> Not really going all out on this one. Yips very bad. Bad. Yips very bold. And they tell me that the bun yips now a thousand years old. My Say name is Kim. Yeah, is this a Morrison? Get the doors. Very soon. The bunyip's going to get you. The bunyip? What the? Uh, how's it? Ooh, it got dark there. The bunyip's part the animal. The bunyip's part This is my mating call. The bunyip. Makes the strangest I turn this on that you have ever heard. I don't know, maybe I'm just like, I don't know, it's not working. So you better come home quickly, and you better hide very soon, or the bunyip's going to get you. What the hell is this band? The bunyip? What the? Buns. Okay, I get it. I, I mean, I do get why that would fuck the bunyip. Okay, the bunyip. The bunyip. I... The bunyip's I... coming <laughs> to suck you. <laughs> this is like... the bunyip wants your cum. So this is a, if Blumhouse got a hold of Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Blumhouse. <laughs> the bunyip's going uh, to fuck I you. I can't. I can't. He's going to know. fuck you, Christine. He's going to fuck you. Oh. The bunyip <laughs> song goes hard. And where and... you fall is not far, because <laughs> Jason is in his boat. <laughs> the bunyip bring you down to the boat. Bunyip song, bunyip song. <laughs> Everyone have an onion ring that's wrong. Because <laughs> the bunyip is very horny. Yeah, and dude, the bun like, yips know, not it's, had you know sex in some time, and the bun yips coming to touch you in the middle yep, of your butthole. Sudden. Maybe it's one of those. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 maybe it's a curse song. Maybe uh, like if you hear it, you'll die. Maybe that's quite <laughs> scary. I don't know. It is stuck in my fucking head. Bunyip song coming down the river. Bunyip song, <laughs> do you have silver? Bunyip song, passing through the gates of Bunyip song, hell is on the whisper. Bunyip, bunyip, bun, bun, bunyip. <laughs> <laughs> the old cinema. The kind of I your swear, it just butts like a credit card. Yeah, it just sounds like Jim Morrison would be like stopping his show to do this poem. <laughs> uh, that's from Austin Ocho. He said that was a kids' show in Australia. Apparently, it's traumatized kids and led to equally traumatized adults. Mm. I can see that. I can. I can see that. Um, let's see this one here. How long is this one? Before I uh, oh, that one's a little bit too long, Connor. Uh, a little mm. bit too long as well, Connor. So we'll we'll scoot back to the ones. Yeah, we, we we'll sure. go back. I mean, the you know we got a whole month of October. We can go back and do uh, some of the longer ones, but I don't want anybody uh, to like sit there and like watch like a fourteen or twenty five minute. Yeah, and the uh, uh, the video the, I've seen some music videos in here too. That is too copyright. We can't do mm. music videos, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully, the bunyan's going to fuck you. Does no, not because, get it, us because the guy that fucking wrote that song was apparently a warlock that lived in a mountaintop in Transylvania. <laughs> and like he that, definitely is like it, it only like ushers in the next generation of like uh Sam Hain worshippers. <laughs> the 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 uh uh the bunion song is what you hear when uh when Eminem's writing a song about you. The bunions coming. Bunion song. 
No, dude, I swear to God, it, like, tell me, guys, does it not sound like something that Blumhouse will put in the front of a Friday the 13th movie? Or not just Blumhouse. It would be like if they were going to, if they were going to, like, retell, like, the Amityville horror or something. Like, if a studio got a hold of us, like, we got to make this weird. So we're going to do, like, the Bunyip song at the beginning. <laughs> And like the kid's gonna be listening to it on his cassette player or the eight track is gonna be the Bunyip song tells you about demons. The Bunyip song if you listen clearly. <laughs> uh, I have one here. I don't know why. I don't know why that's funny to me. That one's more documentary style. Hey everyone, um, it's Bert Baccarat. <laughs> Bert Baccarat. Cause the Bunyip sucks no more. Um, let me see. Okay, here's one uh, from David Borowak, who says, beautifully shot by a professional photographer, no dialogue, super a atmospheric, guaranteed to bring the brown panties. Okay. Called Black Lullaby. Oh. Black Lullaby. Hey, don't be oh, racist. I know. There's it's no reason to Totally that. unacceptable in today's world. Here we go. Oh, Josh I, saw, I saw the fucking, like... Coffee. Bunyan coming down, bunyan. Gonna suck me down. Oh shit, dude, this reminds me of like the beginning of like a conjuring movie. Like you guys can't see it, but I'm literally pinching my 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 ball sack. Like just to keep myself shocked. Like so I don't like fall into a, a lull. Ooh, I see that shit moving. Why why are kids so stupid? Why are you going to work? Oh my god. Your parents I'm, I'm should do it. better I'm, wallpaper. I'm, it's a stupid picture. Fuck you. Well, well there's duty marks all over the goddamn wall. <laughs> Lonnie, get your ass away from there. <laughs> you don't have a place for us. You open the door. Because the bun is going to get you. Dude, actually, that would be a it's... perfect time to put that in there. It's actually stuck in my fucking head now. It's not, I mean, I, I let it go for after a minute, but it's funny because the bun yep, it sounds like you could rhyme. Hey, what's she things. chewing? Oh, okay. Don't do it, Jim. It I, I will say he's right. It looks really the way they shot this is amazing. It looks yeah. really, really good. What the fuck does that go, go to the ceiling? Like, it, like the stairs just end at the ceiling. Hey, look, a flashlight just appeared for her. Yeah, the flashlight was like, "Hey, bitch, I'm here." Turn me on. What the goddamn cookie woman? Find it. <laughs> Search it out. Michael up there? Go up there and get him. Come you flush it out. You want this? Walk down these goddamn impossibly narrow stairs. I bet you can't do it. Yeah. Oh, I, I've got... Dude, that's like the perfect staircase to guard against the fucking serial killer. Look how narrow that shit is. There's no fucking way. Mm. Slow parking reach of the light of the flashlight. I don't like that at all. I hope it's not Paymon and there's not a bunch of old dudes dicks up there flopping around. That'd be inappropriate. Oh shit. There's a baseball bat. That girl stayed fire starter. Fire starter. <laughs> it just sounds like Just the beginning of the like, like what's that? Uh, what's that band's name? It wasn't uh Prodigy. Prodigy, yeah, prodigy. Stop my best shot. This sounds like the opening of Crow. Like the new Crow movie. <laughs> Ow! Shit fuck! Oh don't do it. Yeah, I'll fight. Don't show. Dude, I gotta be honest with you. Don't look around, don't make a sound. There's a stranger here in town. Where he's from, like, nobody oh, knows. Oh, 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 o
this day, while that was terrifying in a lot of ways, it really wasn't that super scary. I will say, though, I liked it a lot. If they were going to remake Salem's Lot, that looked like a vampire. That really did. Like, from, from like, the Nosferatu deaths. Yeah. And, like, if you're going to remake Salem's Lot and put it in a big budget movie, have the opening like that in Salem's Lot where the, the vampire, like, attacks a kid and kills it first it off. Good enough that, to be that, sets like the, that. that sets the tone right away. That really did look good, dude. I, I thought it looked amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, that was my – it's called Black Holobi by Joshua Hoffin. And it's I don't know why we have Vimeo. to bring race into everything, guys, okay? Can we just like, <laughs> say it was a great short film? I don't Those know. from our buddy David – Appreciate that, dude. That was a really good one. Um, okay, let's see here. List of serial sent us one, but it is a music video, so we have to no, get here on the that. side of caution. No. There, um, we got like uh, we literally had our, our live stream taken down. We, we, I, I think we were reacting like an ghost, icon. the band Ghost, fuck Ghost, us. yeah, Ghost, yeah, yeah. they ghosted they our fucking... channel, they fucked us up like right away, yeah, they stuck it right in, mm. uh, and it was not pleasurable for anybody. Uh, let's see what this one is. Uh, and thank you guys so much for sending us to these. Yeah, that's awesome. This thank is, you. Um, let me see what this is. Obviously, I'm not scared. I mean, you guys have been misled and uh, misgendered all your life. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are full of shit. I'm not scared of all of these films. I so love there's... horror movies. I literally sit there on a repeat and watch horror movies in the bed, in the dark, with no underwear on. <laughs> There are some that that are kind of documentary style, uh, which I'm sure uh, are freaky, but we won't do those because I don't feel like we're in the capacity to really follow along with those to really let them sink in. If um, they're too long, like uh, if you guys got like TikTok, like just send us some TikTok ones. Uh, that one's a little too long. Um, yeah, like I don't um, mind doing long videos at all, but Mike and I have the right these, mix. But we'll have we'll we'll do more of these later on in the month. I mean, we're only in October six right now, but. Yeah, I don't want like you know. I, I'm sure a lot of people don't want to have us watch like a you know super long horror thing that takes too long to get going. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna show you my email real quick, okay? Because I got this one that just uh, straight it says strange nine oh six on TikTok. Are you asking? You're gonna show your email to no, me? I, no, I'm gonna show you guys this because <laughs> this is I'll fucking. <laughs> I just got this video that just says "Strange 906" on TikTok, and this oh, is what it is. It could be. Oh, I don't like that at all, dude. Da. Ah! No. Nothing. Shit. Purely and simply. Really hoping for. Purely and simply evil. <laughs> I, that that works way better in person, I guess. It looks like it looks um, like Michael. It, if Loomis like looked at a brain scan of Michael, that's what it would look like. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It looks like a bunch of goddamn Roman numerals and numbers. You say he's that's, stupid. That's fucking weird, dude. That's fucking. That's that's really weird. Uh, Caleb sent us one, and this one. Okay. Oh, I got a feeling about this one. I got. It's called Black. Or it's from Black Status, and it's called Most Scary Lady in the Windows. Oh fucking shit, dude. I don't know what it is about like twenty seconds. Oh. Who are you? Oh my god, are you fucking shitting? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what? It took my daughter. Burger? Please. Burger? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Plus. Let me um pass. Let me um. <laughs> Tila said, close your fucking windows, lady. <laughs> but. Dude, but, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> that shit was scaring me so bad. Like, just that shit. I got tears on the corner of my eyes. I don't even know. <laughs> like, I could literally feel them. Like that shit is like from fucking nightmares. I don't know what the oh fuck that God. like the first reaction. I I wish I was a gun toting real American because I would blast that fucking bitch in the straight fucking head like straight away. Like she looked like maybe this she could have been Who are you? 
All right, dude. Oh. I'm not even listening anymore. Like, so. I don't know what's going on anymore. You know what? Oh, you. What? Talk to my daughter. Her, please. See, I'm look. I, look, it looks like I'm looking at the camera. I'm really not. I'm that's looking like, at the elapsed time. That's uh, what you look like when you come, but she keeps sucking. <laughs> Dude, you know what fucks me up more is not like the face looks like shit. Like the face is garbage. It's not the face. It's the fucking hands. It's the fingers. <laughs> like the fingers look real. Like that looks real. Like. Like you could like maybe can like just convince yourself like oh it's all like it's just some bitch that's like got a mask on. But when the fingers come out and they're like all that, Dude, night, nighttime said Michael Jackson, and then D Land said I'm talking about the freak in the mirror. <laughs> it does look like Leatherface though. It looks like Leatherface from Part Four. <laughs> That's fucking wild, dude. That was a good one. That was. Really I feel like I feel like what freaks me is it's the it's the fingers. It like like see like the what the coolest thing is like is well not the coolest thing but the, the, there's a lot of things that like uh, I feel like some horror directors miss. It's it's the subtle little tiny details that make <laughs> the scene scary. It's not it's not the overt obvious thing, right? Like the face or or the or the music or, or even the. Ooh, <laughs> like the fucking jump scare music, oh. yeah. Like the sex part. It's oh. like it's like the subtle, like the the fingers or the nails in that one, like freak me out. It's the little tiniest details that add to the surreal, the, the 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 surrealistic nightmare of what you're seeing is what makes it fucking horrific. It's like the tiniest things that make it like fucking scary. It's not like even in in the Grudge or the Ring. I mean, most people don't care about the herky jerky shit. That shit scares me. Even though it's a small scene, it, or it's a small part of her character, like I don't know why that shit, like just or like, or the hair in front of the face. Like, it's a small detail, but that shit scares me. Jared would have would have. Jesus that Christ, too. Jared! You Jared would have thrown it to her. Oh my god, damn, dude! You need to go like Christian.com and work <laughs> on your sins. <laughs> <laughs> uh this one's called make me a sandwich it's from it's from our buddy colton uh it's called make me a sandwich for a short film god damn it colton now, three three minutes fucking... long stop colton here we go my, my where's my sandwich yeah, Gary Busey. just the way you like it oh <laughs> dude i'm not gonna lie that's literally mike and i after drinking and our wives make us food <laughs> Why the fuck is she in a closet? Mercy! Damn, he's fat. And he ate a he ate, holy shit. Oh, she's gonna poison him. Oh, is she gonna put that? Oh, she's just blowing in mayo. Yep, I knew it. Oh, she's gonna poison him. I knew oh, it's it. just some ditch soap. I can handle that. That sounds kind of just like honey. Uh, took you long enough. Shut up, Colonel fucking Sanders. You had why did you just ask for two sandwiches? When you have two sandwiches, the, the way she walks away, the guy, <laughs> that guy's so drunk, he don't even know it's like fucking got dishwasher soap on it. If anybody ever hands you food and then goes oh, oh, afterwards, three sandwich, you want three sandwich? Sandwich, you not understand. Put some steak on it. Can't you do one damn thing right? <gasps> she got oh. poop poopy on there. Ew, it's a oh, turd. That, dude, this is gross. Oh, my God. It's a sausage turd. It's like poopy. a link. <laughs> oh, watch them go to hey, town on it. That's how watch people it. are when they watch football. They don't care. <laughs> they just shove it in their fucking mouth. <laughs> Ladies, if you want to just shove shit in your, your, your partner's mouth, just make sure they're watching football. You can feed them anything. God damn, you fat bitch. How many sandwiches Four can you sandwiches. eat in one That's sitting? Oh, Mercy, what are you doing? Come on, Mercy. Oh, she's going to put glass in it. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's gross. I never want to wipe up mayonnaise with a... Ooh. Mm -mm. What's he watching? Plinko? Um, he's watching fucking Miami Vice. Ooh, shit. This is like a nightmare shit, dude. Oh, you put the Doritos on there. Like wow. A oh, yeah. What was he drinking? Oh, 
Oh well, okay, I'll make it back to knitting. Yeah. Marcy, get in here. Oh my lord. Marcy, go! God damn it, you're taking too long. Go get that what man's fucking here? sandwich. Another oh, sandwich? Was he dead? Oh, oh, he's been dead the whole time. He's been dead the whole time. It's always the woman's fault, Jay. Oh my god, fucking bitch. That's what we're learning. You fucking bitch. You killed your man. Right away, dear. Yeah. Go back yeah, to go, fucking Shelly Duvall. Go put a fucking dick in it next you time. You watch Shelly Duvall before the fallout. <laughs> that was cool. That, I like that. That was good. That was really good. I, I did like that. I like that. I like the idea. Like it, it's like a like a a mental thing that the audience is in, in like in it with you, and then it's like the reveal. I don't know. It's cool. That was that was that, that was, was dope. Movie. I like that. I enjoyed. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that mightily. Uh, let's see. You say Here. I enjoyed that violently. Mightily. Oh, I was like, I was jacking off when he was eating the sandwiches. Don't you put words in my mouth. I love bologna Whoa. glass. He I rubs like, his like, uh, dick in broken glass. That's fine. I like Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> that's good wholesome fucking programming right there, buddy. Uh, we only I never could get into that. For... Did you guys get, ever get into that shit? I never could. No, I could not. All right, Michael here's, here's a good an one. Angel, but I couldn't get into it. Here's a good one to leave it off on, and then we'll answer some super chats and get out of here. Last one of the night comes from Noah Knox. I like your name. This one looks cool, dude. Uh, it's called Horror Short Film After Hours, and it's five minutes long. Oh, shit, dude. All right. Oh, shit, I started it without showing it to you guys. It's just for me. Good. Watch it and enjoy it. Write a review about it. <laughs> Put it in <laughs> www.fuckingguysintheass.com. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it's like POV. It's like Hardcore Henry. That looks like an alien's hands. No, it's not. This is like Hardcore Henry. I like this. This is like a fuck. Oh, is he a cop? Or a serial killer? Dude, I'm not going to lie. Like... I think the POV, if you, they've never done a POV, like imagine watching a POV horror movie through the eyes of like, uh, of the killer. Like, you know, like Hardcore Henry. Yeah, I like the opening of uh, Halloween. But, but the whole, but like for the, thing, whole, the whole, movie. yeah. I, that'd be cool. Sort of brain scanish too. Mm -hmm. But like the whole time. I feel like I'm playing a video game. Yeah. I do find there's something creepy about that noise. Like when you leave your do door open, it's like, boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. mine doesn't do that. It's like older cars. I might have. Julie. Julie. Ja oh, oh she's on her period. Fuck. No sex for you. Oh. Wolverine's been here. Mm -hmm. Well, she's not getting her deposit back. Dude, my fucking computer is fucking... Okay, we're good. Your pooter? Is your pooter okay? My computer was it? fucking up for a second. Summer 2001. Wow, the Blink-182 concert. Wow. 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 You guys are like old and stuff. Oh my god! Something That's so it. trashy. To just yeah, I really. I'm right not. There. I'm not Come kidding. On. It's like you're hiding illegal drug activity back there. Yeah, hundred like percent. You need to fucking Please. get a decorator or something. Christ, put beads up. Beads are better than a fucking sheet. Yeah, you might as well have a fucking beacon on where the drugs are when the cops come. Yeah, I'm just judging these people. Look at this room. I bet you have kids that sleep there too. You piece of shit. I bet it shit. smells like wet house. mixed with piss. Clean your fucking house. Come on, not have some fucking pride. Losers. You guys get a government stipend. I hate this guy. Clean your fucking house. I hate it. Oh! Hey, look at that stance, though. Power Sorry, stance. Uh, what he's yeah. got going on. Friend. It's probably the guy that's fucking your girlfriend. Oh. That's Ezra Miller at a karaoke bar. No, he's too big. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Jeep for Streepers action. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, I like that. Okay, it feels sexy. Jim John. Jim. That's not even scary. That's not even scary. Whoa! Hey! 
Hey, let me in! from the black lecoq. Help! You idiot. Why do you, why do you powder your, your arms? Uh, this is so video game. Oh, it's crawling! Yeah, this isn't really scary. It's, yeah, you're right. It's like oh, a it's video freaking game. me the fuck out. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like it. I think it's kind of cool. I like this a little bit more. This actually feels like a, like a Jeepers Creepers reboot that you could get. Fun. That's what I call the cortical sim sim sarabim sim sim sarabim. Yummy 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 yum. You got. Me. They think they can kill the brother Ab Abdul. He's got a fucking Nokia. He's fucked. Oh my god. We you might as well just play Snake. I still like Why would you not call 911? He could, I don't know. Hey, by the way, those Nokia phones were badass. I think those phones were awesome. I missed them. Because you know why? You couldn't get. Could you get texts on those? I don't think you could. I don't think so. Yeah, I loved it when you couldn't get texts. What's that little 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 it's piece of poop? Oh, it's, mm -hmm. oh, it's the other person's phone. Oh, Julie. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm no, definitely. No, 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 I'm sure if you like, okay. give her mouth to mouth, she'll come back with her test. Open. <laughs> that is bad dialogue. How You're gonna be fine. Are you alive? <laughs> oh, what's your side? Hi, he behind the white door. You want to? <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. You know what? I loved it. I think it was really solid. I think it was healthy, and I enjoyed it. It was very cathartic. I will say also, does that not feel like if they ever remade? Um, they could shorten this shit down, obviously, 100%. But if they ever remade something like Tales from the Crypt, do a little bit of what they just did there. And yeah. make that's the, the Tales from the Crypt, the opening. Uh, it, this comes from Noah Knox, and they said it's from the director of The Stranger's Origins. Uh, mm. We reacted to that a couple of years ago. I do remember that. We had a good time reacting to that. It's called After Hours, um, and it's by, I'm going to the thing. Just Dude, that's such a good it. name. Jacob after, Owens. After hours, man. We, yeah. God damn. Oh, well, we weren't even planning on doing streaming <laughs> back in the olden days when we started the channel. But shit, dude, that's a great fucking name for it. <laughs> like our streaming stuff now, like after hours. We can call it after hours. That's fucking uh, Jared's like, I think she's all right. She's fine. Yeah, she's going to be fine. She yeah, she'll has, be all right. Nobody, nobody just her intestines yeah. are just no, flopping I mean, around the floor. You like, don't need intestines to poop. You yeah. Just do it. It's going to be fine. Uh, Julie's got an Android. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, I think that was one of the better ones, man. We've watched some fucking good ones tonight. Yeah, man. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it a lot, even though uh, uh, my asshole didn't, because there was a couple of uh, squirters that almost <laughs> happened and a couple of turtle heads that definitely yeah. did happen. But overall, yeah, dude. Um, could, it, could it be some well, bad, uh, bad dreams tonight, maybe for yeah, some of us? Um, no, I'm too drunk right now. It won't happen. But I will say, um, I always appreciate the effort that, that these creators put in to these projects because 99% of the times what, what we just watched is better than Hollywood has produced in like fucking 20 years. And, Honestly, like, and, they're, and they're, and they're doing it in like fucking 10 minutes or five minutes. It's insane. There was no doubt better scares in some of the things we mm -hmm. watched tonight than we got in the in exorcist believer for sure. Michael said, Jay, I'm so sorry for scaring you. I never meant to. He's it's lying. Okay, Michael. It's He's okay. fucking lying. It's okay, Michael. No, but I'm saying, but really, though, uh, you guys uh, you guys know what we're talking about, though. The fact that the matter is Hollywood has gotten to a point where it's like they do such a basic uh, Karen bullshit attempt at a horror movie where it's like you could see it coming from a mile away. She's going to ask for the manager, and then it's going to get resolved by some priest in a funky hat in five minutes. And then... You watch shit like this on YouTube, and you're like, "What? Where in the fuck yeah. are are the creative directors or the or the lead writers? What? Where are they being like? Oh man, we should be like prowling these short films and like hiring these uh, these uh, content uh, directors for films for the future." I, yeah. I don't you know. Can, I, it's so weird to me. You can you can definitely blame the. Um... The conjuring movies of the world i feel like all they need is cheap jump scares and like pg-13 type shit and everybody flocks to the theater so why well, make I, 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 I generally bl blame scream but you can, you can blame <laughs> conjuring all you want fun. oh god robin barker says seeing exorcist believer tomorrow only because mm -hmm. i feel morally obligated to see it i have very low expectations and i suspect green will be one for four love 2018 not a fan of kills or ends mm. um yeah Ooh, that's a big one uh if you didn't like kills this one's not gonna impress you 
What was the best that. part of Believer? The uh, first hour, really good, really. I mean, good. what what one scene without spoiling it was good? Um, it it wasn't really one scene in particular. It was just the the, oh. the atmosphere that you felt, the dread that you felt from everything happening on the screen. The first hour was palpable. It was really good. And then they just went and did some boring. Was ass there a crucifix shit. fuck at all? No, nothing like that. Nothing even close to that. Okay, then you got to yeah. like leave it alone. Nothing even close. Yeah, nothing. Did it, even feel, close. Like a P, did it feel like a PG thirteen movie or did it feel no, like no? No, I was scared the first hour of the movie because mm -hmm. I I had this feeling something gnarly was really going to happen and then it just never did. So, um, but it didn't feel PG thirteen. I mean, it could have been PG. Honestly, like yeah, it could have been PG thirteen. I think I can't think of many Trash. moments that wouldn't have made it not PG thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Zana Paul said meant to suggest one night diner slash short horror. Email us, dude. Email yeah, to we'll, us. We'll, we'll get to do a part next two. Of this. We'll do a part two. Absolutely, because uh, I still got a bunch of the email to get to. Shan Dog said, "Mike, search for selfie from hell goes for one forty six. Jay had a sook and said, "Had a look and said no because he's scared and even won an award." Email me, Shan Dog. What? Email. He said you were scared. You know what, Shane? I'm not scared of dogs or cats. You shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Jordan own. Decker. Said, fuck my bank account this week. You guys are worth more than a movie ticket. Check out the movie Ghost Lake featuring myself and Damon Mafia. Damien. No, Damien. Do you know what I found out from him? Is it Damien or Damon? It's Damien. I think it's Damien. Yeah, I think it's pronounced Damien. God, what an overrated uh, fucking actor that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love him. Man. Damien's yeah, a great guy. Yeah, he's awesome. He told us he was going to be in this like Skeletor. Type is he being at Scarefest this year? I don't think he is. I, I, I have to check, but I don't think he is at Scarefest this year. But he told us last year at Scarefest, he's like, yeah, I want to be in this like Skeletor movie. I can't remember the name of it. Do you remember the name? He was like, no. I'm I thought he Skeletor was I thought he was recording lines or doing something for uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No, he is. He's in the game. He's, he's, he's the character in the game for that. But like, uh, but I asked him about that. I was like, he was like, I dropped out of that. I was like, well, God damn it. Now I don't even want to fucking see it. The Skeletor movie. I no, he, yeah, dude, he's great. I mean, yeah. If you're in the movie with him, dude, I mean, fuck. That's dope, man. Yeah, I, we, we love fucking Damien. He's a sweet fucking dude. Mm -hmm. Chris Nixon said, Mike, I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia. Lived here my whole life. Had a pretty famous Halloween house in the early 90s and the 90s and early 2000s. Any chance you came by? Uh, no, my friend. I don't. If I did, I don't remember. We were in uh, Virginia Beach, about 15 minutes from the beach, close to the Norfolk area around that that part. But uh, I think that's pretty fucking But dope. next time you're coming through the area, let me write it yeah. down and let me know. Yeah. Like exactly yeah. when you're driving by, so I can like spot you. Weirdly. Fucking recreate it, dude. Recreate it for us, please. Caleb Parkinson said, "Gobble, gobble, let me dink, dunk, dig a double." <laughs> That's exactly With the, the word I say to myself in the mirror every time I'm getting ready to go have sex. It's exactly yeah. the same spell. The edibles just kicked in the table. It's gonna be fine. Travis Mitchell said, "Excellent content, guys. Funniest movie fart." Ooh. Um. I. Ooh. I, I I never had a fart in the theater. Like I don't fart in front of a no. Like like funniest fart in a movie. I think he. Oh, I, well, I, I mean, like if you farted in the movie theater. No, um, I don't. Um, oh, that's that's hard. Um, they don't do farts very good in movies. I'll say I'll like, say I the like, uh, uh, no. The I was like seen in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> like those farts are always funny. Like when when like if a. <laughs> I don't know, like the little squeaky parts are funny, little sneaky ones. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, the only thing I can think of is Dumb and Dumber when he's when he gets the lax and he's shitting on the toilet. And he's like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it keeps fucking coming. Yeah, like uh, a diarrhea fart. Yeah, Click had a pretty good one too when he farts right in David Hasselhoff's face, like when he's bent over on and the then he like he he went. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was a good yeah, one too. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, Travis Mitchell said Cher dressed up as her son Rocky Dennis. Good for her. Hey, Rock I don't know Dennis. what that means, but cool. I'm going as that for Halloween, man. Uh, yeah. Brent, I was going to go dress the share uh, from If I Could Turn Back Time. If I Could Turn Your no Dick. Way. Brent Ferguson said, I live in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by cornfields. The lady in the window, that lady in the min window made my Hershey squirt <laughs> in my pants. No sleep for me. Oh, dude. Hey. It's the worst ever, Brandon. I know, man. Dude, just light I, some that, incense that, and yeah, run dude, backwards know, naked through man. a cornfield. You never know, man. If you live in the yeah, some fucking crazy hoe with a goddamn plastic mask could be like creeping up on your window, like I didn't mean to kill him. I just want to come in and suck your dick. He did oh! this to me, and you're like uh, torn between survival and I like to get my dick sucked though. 
that was that was Jay when he was dating there uh, a few years back. It's like it's like, it's like their ex husband just beat him up. It's like he did this to me. Type I, me in. Jay, I'm like, like yeah. all right, come on. I was like, listen, I I can like you can keep making out with me, and we can even go out on one date, but I can't go further <laughs> than that. But you better not squirt. But you better not you better not <laughs> squeal on me from your vagina. Yeah. Uh, Caleb said, you read my last super chat wrong. Repeat it. Oh, shit. Okay. I I Order. Did, Caleb. What the fuck, Caleb? Are you Skeletor from Steak Mountain? Me. I ain't no dancing monkey. Um, Caleb said, you read it, Jay. Tell me what you think it says. Gobble, gobble, lick me dick. Donk, e dick, a gobble. <laughs> You're right. I did read it wrong. <laughs> idiot. He was casting a spell. Obviously, you made it wrong. And in the words of Robin Barker, big gobs, huh? Well, yep. all right. See you later. See you later. That was a good one. <laughs> hey, guys, we had so much fun. That was a blast. We're yeah, that was that fun, again. man. That yep. was perfect October stream. I loved every fucking second of it. And uh, we'll see you guys fucking soon. We love you so much. And uh, I want to touch all your dicks. All right, man. Uh, see you guys. Love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and and uh, and being great supporters of the stream and the channel. Uh, we appreciate you guys, and we will see you very soon. Better soon. Uh, don't go it. far away from your TV sets because soon, soon this piece of shit channel will infect it once again. See it you guys. To me. It Bye.